There we go. Audio is on. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? And here we go. We're on the main screen. Oh, shoot. Hello. I didn't think of a personality to give to. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Why did well, the... Oh, just let no. it Did the cameras naturally. all goof up again? Why? I just oh, fixed no. this. I literally oh, fixed no. the cameras right no, before the just, stream it's started. It's just a layer, man. No, it's it's the whatever, trend. Whatever, the text is the layer. Text layer is below your camera layer. That's why the text is behind. No, the it. no, the transforms stretched themselves. Oh, they're supposed whatever. to be at one fifty, and they all just shifted to one seventy five. <laughs> the heck! <laughs> all right. Oh, no. I, I literally fixed this right before the stream started. I don't know why this is happening. Anyways, while I'm doing this, hello, everybody, uh, and welcome back to uh, the di welcome back to the Dice Life and our game of Princes of the Apocalypse. Yeah. Session Heck. number two. Heck yeah, the second session in. All right. Uh... Uh, when we last left our players, they had um, well, they had just taken down a well. They talked with a ghost, and then they took down a goblin and a half ogre that were camped out nearby. Um, and we decided to leave the ghost alone. Yes, yes, and they decided to leave the ghost alone. Um. So yeah, what, right. what's the plan now, everybody? Well, um, Hedman's gonna yeah. up, go in the tomb and apologize to the ghost, and uh, close that door back up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. The, and uh, you don't guess... you don't see the ghost there. He seems to have already gone back into the wall. Um, but How much you, you sense you he appreciates we... it. How much money did you say we made, we made off of the the goblin and the and the half ogre? I don't think they. I think up... you said five each, right? Uh, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Five gold each. Yeah, sure. That sounds about right. Okay. Like well, the... I got five gold in my inventory. Because the. Because the gold that they were that you were supposed to get from that came from beyond the ghost, but so the goblin didn't have any. But sure, that sounds about right. Uh, also, if you notice right. on your character sheets, so I talked with Jake at the end of the game last game, and uh, he did confirm this is actually a uh, it's I an experience. older system, so it's XP based. Ah, cool. uh, so okay. that means okay. at the end of each game, I will be letting you guys know how much you've earned. Uh, but there should be some XP, like, I think it's 115 on each of your character sheets already. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All, All right. right. Cool beans. So, at this point, I think that uh, Bar Drop will just turn back to everyone and he'll say, like, well, um, Ooh. five gold Ooh. is not going to last me for too long. Real quick, before we get too far into this, ah, uh, DM, do you have a link to the uh, video from last session? So in case people, anyone shows up that uh, didn't see the first session, we can point them to that. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, it just finished processing, so let me see if it's... Yep, it's public and everything. All right. get a share right. link. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, no, I'll go I ahead and pop that in chat. 10 minutes ago. Uh so uh for for everyone in chat, uh we have started recording these sessions and uh the first episode just got put up on our new YouTube channel. Same would username as our Twitch, The Dice Life. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop a link in chat if you want it. There we go. So this is our, yeah, um, we're going to be uploading the videos there, hopefully a little sooner than the, the next game of it. But uh, if you ever miss a episode or want to go back and watch some more, there it is. Uh, we'll probably also be... Um, 
Or, you know, get your friends to send your friends to watch them and then they can catch up and start watching us live. <laughs> yep. Uh, we're also probably – if I I spent today figuring out and getting the YouTube channel set up. It's still got some things left. But ideally in the future we'll also be putting announcements out on there uh, for – Oh, geez, hiccups. <laughs> uh, when we're going to be streaming next. So uh, if you want head, if you want alerts about that, keep an eye out on the channel. At this point, like I said, I think Barjar will just like look around at the group and say, well, I don't have enough money to, that money is not going to last me a while. How about we hang out a little more and find another job? It sounds good to me. You have anything else? Didn't someone hear something about some plateau or cave or something like that? Um, Amos does know another plot hook, yes. Yes, uh, we have the thing with... Lance Rock. Yeah, Lance Rock. Um, there's Fell Magic. I don't think I told them that, though. No. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I don't if think you, you mentioned that one yet. No, I believe Yeah, if well, that was the time. Heard, yeah, cover that with you, or if you actually mentioned in character. I, yeah, that's why I'm like, that's why I was saying that out of character. Yep. Uh, so um, you, most of you only so, know about the Haunted Tomb. So, so, so Velik will, will probably say, well, we can go back to town and ask around. Actually, there is one other thing. We could try and investigate Lance Rock. Someone said there's something with magic happening there, so might be interesting to find out. Probably easier than a ghost. I don't know. This ghost was pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go and kill the ghost, that's up to you. But I thought... Because Barjok here is too terrified of this ghost. <laughs> but I maybe we Kong. wait until he gets I, a on. bit stronger. Until he I grows a little there. bit more. I, 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 here, man. I have no need to kill the ghost. He's already dead. And I am not grave robber. And for the record, I'm the one that suggested that we go back in and take the money. Just saying. Yes, and I am agreeing. I mean, if you want to do that, sure, I guess. I... Well, well, I think we already agreed that... But I'll tell you one thing. Not... I only have my cantrips. <laughs> so if you well, want anything to do with more spells on my well, end... The ghost is not hurting anyone unless people come in. Yeah. So... Let's uh, let's check out this uh, this uh, stone and this stone spear or something. The lance rock. Mm -hmm. uh, That's I believe, the one. I believe I moved you guys over to the map, so you should be seeing that. Yeah. Yep. All right. So cur oh. currently you're at the haunted tomb, and then lance rock is all the way on the other side of red larch. We could spend the night in town. Yes, it's a long walk away. Yeah. And then go to Lance Rock the day after if you want. Maybe talk around in town, see if uh, something else to do after we uh, we are finished at Lance Rock. Yeah, it's about afternoon right now, so that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Sounds solid to me. Good plan. We head over to Red Larch. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to sleep we go. <laughs> all right, so you all make your way back to the red or back to Red Larch. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my notes about locations then. Um, uh, so yeah, you you head back to town, and it's. Let me actually go ahead and put you back on that map then. Um, uh, it's, you know, just as you left it, a night, uh, 
there's people running around or people running around doing their actually not many are running around right now most are at their jobs um and are we supposed to see all those numbers yes yeah yeah the, the numbers are just oh, okay. markers for um the list of locations actually i should probably like write up a list of each location name to give to you guys that'd be helpful. all right we're going to i know go number to three location is the helm high sun and number eight is the bakery mm -hmm. so yep. i kept notes oh wow um let me see here desert valley uh Yep, so you can uh, you make your way back in. Um, actually, uh, uh, but yeah. The <laughs> apologies, a little frazzled. Um, Preparation yeah. is key, DM. Preparation. I know, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, there, there's a bunch of locations around. You've got. Um, uh, the All Faiths Shrine. Uh, if you want to find a place to sleep, the inn is the main inn in town is the Swinging Sword, where uh, Amos, you've actually been staying most nights. Mm -hmm. um, number. Oh, the um, the Swinging Sword is location two. Okay. Um, mm. you obviously all know the Helmet High Sun, number three, the the tavern where you all met up. Well, let's go with the swinging sword to uh, to have a night's rest. Okay, well, it's a, it's getting to be evening at this point, but um, okay. So you go to you go to the swinging sword to uh, hope hope to book yourself some rooms for the night. Uh, I already have my room, oh, of course and I'm not you sharing do. with anyone. No, of course. <laughs> um. So yeah, I should... like my room clean and organized. <laughs> no one else is going to use my room, ever. <laughs> I like my room clean, organized, and private. Yeah. Um, uh, I, like my room, as... I, like, I like my room with four walls, a roof, and a bed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, you head over and... Um... Uh, as you as you walk up to the building, uh, you notice there almost seems to be like a kitchen scattered out amongst the front yard or the front lawn, uh, with fires going and people working. Um, almost you've you've probably already heard at this point that the kitchen burnt down, so they're kind of cooking out front for now. Yep. Um, but you yep. see plenty of people out. Or you see some people doing cooking and some people just kind of out there selling goods, whatever they have. So there, there's plenty of food available if you want it. Sure. Uh, and uh, I think I'll take. Uh, I'll think I'll take. I think uh, like they have like a bowl of soup or something. Uh, they. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the the <laughs> one running the. Uh, Doing the main cooking seems to have some there. Uh, another thing that happens to... Uh, are, are any of your characters from Waterdeep? I am. Yeah. All right. I don't think I specified a town. I'm from the other direction. Yeah, you're from very <laughs> far the other direction. Um, but uh, so something that is this town is a little notorious for is their crumble cake. Um, you see a couple of people out there selling them, or, or one one guy's out there selling that. <laughs> hmm. Um. Isn't that the thing I bought? These guys no, from the bakery. No, as we had it no, you, that, that was, was a cheese the bread. Mushroom bread. The mushroom yeah, cheese the, bread. Yes. The mushroom no, cheese uh, bread. No, crum okay. crumble cake. Uh, is apparently important enough to have its own block of text <laughs> in the <laughs> book. Uh, crumble cake. To the average citizen of Waterdeep, Red Larch is only known for crumble cake. Wow. Local speciality. The much maligned but hearty food is useful on the trail. 
baked loaves of turkey and wildfowl scraps, nuts and chopped <laughs> roots and greens mixed in a chickpea mash. It is bland at the best of time, but badly made crumble cake tastes terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, sometimes I really wonder what Wizards of the Coast is thinking about, like, what mm. they put details in. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Because in some adventures, they're just like, this is a great example, there's like a block of text for like a game of dice or like some bread, mm -hmm. but about the description of like a secret door, it just says like, oh, there's a secret door yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, who knows? <laughs> but at the same time, we love Wizards of the Coast because now we can play D&D. &D. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> I just thought that was funny that just crumble cake <laughs> gets its own block of text. <laughs> um, okay. yeah. um it sounds like trail mix. Uh yeah, trail mix patties basically <laughs> with like meat and other things mixed in. Uh so yeah, you had it you head into the swinging sword and um uh, the woman who runs the place, her name is um, uh, Kalesa. Um, and you mean Kalisi? Possibly. No. I don't know. I'm bad at pronouncing things, apparently. No, nope, Kalisa. There's definitely an A there. All right. Uh, well, I, I would say Kalesa. Kalesa. All right. Okay. That's how I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Fair I'll enough. But yeah, there, there's a woman there by the name of Kalesa. Uh, she, uh, she is the owner of the place and is uh, currently bustling about helping people as much as she can. Uh, upon seeing Amos right. enter with her, with the um, with the party, uh, she she smiles warmly and says, "Welcome, uh, welcome back. Will you, uh, will you, will the rest of you be needing a room for tonight?" Yep, they, darling, these three will need their separate rooms, I'm assuming. How much is a room? Let me check to see if they have price listed. Um, I can share with the orc. <laughs> or, um, what's your name again? Velik or? Velik. I am a human. In case you forgot, I am a, I am a half orc. Yeah. But would I know the difference? I mean, <laughs> orcs have big. Orcs are generally bigger and have bigger tusks and live and live ugly. for less longer. Like he's ugly, but orcs are ugly. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, at go, that yeah. moment. I. Uh, in stay per day, squalid seven copper, yep. poor one silver, modest five silver, comfortable eight silver, wealthy two gold, aristocratic four gold. Huh. That's interesting because I was looking at roll twenty, what roll twenty has to say, and it's oh, that's for lifestyle. Okay, so yeah, we'll say modest. So that was like what? Five silver. Four. Five, five silver, silver pieces. So yeah, she tells you all be uh, per room. It's five silver pieces for the night. I will say that uh, Barjok uh, will, uh, will uh, laugh at uh, Velik's comment. Oh yeah, orcs are real ugly. He's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was all in character? Okay. is <laughs> <laughs> he's ugly, but true orc, they're very ugly. Yeah, that... There's a difference. Is really only a difference. He's almost kidding. have like a pig or scout. Less ugly. Um, and ten minutes. Take a mental really note. Also, <laughs> they're really fat too. <laughs> I'm a little bit more lean, as you can see, but orcs are really like, you know, sure. You're just like roasting your dad right now. Yep. <laughs> yep. I just said I couldn't remember your backstory, so I had to double check. <laughs> I didn't really know. Uh, 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 I didn't really specify which one was the orc, but oh, it's, yeah, sure, it's gonna. <laughs> I it's gonna for some be reason father. I thought I remembered that. I, I then again I haven't looked at your backstory in a while, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. 
how late is it? Like, it's still kind of evening, like early it's, mid evening. Yeah, it's it's like early evening at this point. All right, so I'll pay for my room. Let me do my accounting work on that. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for I'll pay for my room too. Yeah, me too. Same. All right. <clears throat> All right. But yeah, the <clears throat> different locations around town. We have the All Faith Shrine. There's this uh, one's... If it's, I mean, mm -hmm. um, I wanna go take a bath. Oh yeah, <laughs> there was the. Uh, uh yeah, let me just go through this real quick. The Swinging Sword Inn, where you already are. There's the bar, the Helmet High Sun. There's a boarding house. Uh, there are two uh, wagon assembly shops. One very reputable, reputable and famous. The other one, not as much. Um, there's a clother. There's the bakery, which you've already been to. There's a uh, blacksmith in town. Um... There's also a leather worker and a uh, even actually a weapons shop, if you need it. So a blacksmith and a weapons shop. Yes. Mm, they must be fierce competitors then. No, no. the The weapon. Uh, <laughs> um, I can tell you about well, the, uh, the. The blacksmith probably does more tool yeah. making. Yeah. Uh, all right then. Um. The. Uh, uh, let's see. The shop will actually be more like actually like focused on bladesmithing and, and things like that. Actually, he yeah, doesn't right. really. I don't <laughs> think he actually makes it. No. Uh, the Iron Head Shop. Uh, uh, there was. He's just a retailer. Yeah, basically. Uh, he was a former caravan guard and decided, eh, I'm getting too old for this. And now makes money by uh, keeping guards for hire and mercenaries supplied with decent, affordable gear. So yeah, he's he's more like a weapons retail shop. No weapons dealer. Yeah. Uh, there's also a couple of like poultry shops. Um. There's. Of number seventeen, a very seedy-looking wooden building that uh, is a combined used tools, goods, and barber shop. Um, and then there's also some uh, quarries around. Uh, that's actually this town. One of this town's major exports is the is Ooh. stone being sent down to Waterdeep to build, or down to Waterdeep and up to. Uh, Neverwinter to build fancy buildings with. Right. Um, I will go to the All Faiths Shrine. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> I just want to see what it looks like. Okay. And once everyone's done, I have a question to ask the innkeep, but I can wait. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and start with the... Um... Ah, right. Uh, well, Tadman made his claim first, so I'll go, okay. and go ahead and start with him. All right. Uh... I mean, he said let's... he just wanted to take a bath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, there is actually a... Um... <laughs> You can't do that in his room. Actually, well, well, no, it's is, the medieval. Ages. Yeah, I was about to say, is this place fancy <laughs> enough? There is a bathhouse in town. Yeah, I'll I, go I there. Assume, I assume that's what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, that works too. Um, but yeah, there. Uh, there, there is a uh, <clears throat> place uh, simply known as uh, Hylia's or Hylia. Hylia's. Again bad at pronouncing these it's weird names. Bath house. Yeah. No, no, it actually is. It's um right. <laughs> yeah. bathhouse. Western house. Valley. Uh bat <laughs> no, it really is. It's a bathhouse and dress shop. <laughs> of course it is. 
Uh, half barrels planted with aromatic herbs and flowers flank the entrance, and the windows are decorated with flower-filled window boxes. Right, um, a bathhouse. Yes, it's a bathhouse. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a very nice place. They also give massages. Massages. <laughs> 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 um, uh, But yeah, uh, you you find, um, I mean they 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 have like you know, uh, I don't even know. It doesn't really mention what the inn would have. So sure, we'll go with this place. Um, yeah. But yeah, someone's able to point you over there, and you eventually find your way in. Uh, there's a um, human woman who operates the place, and. Uh, says it'll be let's see here let's just say a silver okay and... i'll also ask if they clean um i guess clothing or armor uh yeah no they they have a service for that um i'm sure they have a service for all kinds <laughs> This is like one of the most reputable businesses in the town, and y'all are like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> you bet. Bad house. I'll stop now. I'll stop now. I, I got um, yeah, no, we'll we'll I say that they have a service for that, so they can <clears throat> get the uh, the goblin blood off your armor. <laughs> and the ash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the, yes, and all the ash. Yeah, you still you come out feeling much less smoky <laughs> uh, smoky smoky in the bed um bro, i have never watched that joke is um uh never seen smoky in the bandit to be fair never. i've seen it but like in bits but it's it's funny i like it <laughs> you guys gotta watch the whole thing it's it's hilarious it's oh it's so funny anyways uh <laughs> and the other person who made a claim for a location was valak uh, yeah. You said you wanted to go check out the shrine, huh? Yes. All right. It's actually just next door. Location number one. It's the All Faith yeah. Shrine. It's tiny. It, it is very small. Yes. Um. Uh. Actually, it's not all that small. It. it um. It, it looks oh, to be like a small stone man. It's described as a grand stone mansion, but hmm. I don't know. It's... Are you sure that <laughs> not where the the big one? Like, is that this? Maybe the numbers got mixed up. <laughs> no, I'm looking at the map. It's the uh, it's um, it's this, this it's this tiny building right yep, here. it's this red building right here. It's literally <laughs> one to, of the smallest numbered buildings. In to the be map. to be fair though, this is the inn, and most of the other places are like factories and where or not factories but like warehouses and places of business so it's yeah. you know mo it's modestly sized it's not it's not I'm, super yeah, i don't the size means nothing to me well, well good for you <laughs> yeah, everything everything <laughs> but, looks, it looks big for you Carry oh, no, you're a human you're not a dwarf you're not a dwarf again you're a human. no Sorry. no he's a human this time you can't make short jokes about him <laughs> ah. in fact i am what did I roll? I am six foot three. Oh shit! <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Had to make up for all the time as a dwarf. <laughs> what a dwarf girl? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I just, I just think it's fun. I just think it's funny because I had another campaign I was a part okay. of where the player. My coach races human and dwarf. One, one player, one player was a dwarf for like a couple of years, or like a year and a half, and then the next campaign. He was immediately like, "I'm gonna be a wood elf." <laughs> wood elves are short too. Right. I think it was his They're complaint was more his cool. movement speed because I think he actually was a wood elf monk. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Anyways, but, onto the shrine. Yep, onto the shrine. Um, uh, the large wooden doors on the front uh, are painted with the symbols of many different gods and are uh, open all the time. Inside is a plain chapel with a stone altar. Um, you see uh, uh, a, a pair of uh, um, 
basically a pair of priests taking care of the place, um, uh, male and female. Um, and there are many smaller shrines around to different uh, gods. Is there one for Tyr? Oh, of course. All right, I'll go to the shrine for Tyr. Okay. Um, what the uh, uh, the male priest um, uh, who is at the uh, an altar for what you believe to be Tempest looks up at you and kind of nods at you, seeing that you're going about your business. Uh, and then I guess I'll, I'll stop and I'll uh, strike up a conversation with them. And I'll say, uh, excuse me, would you know of any uh, troubles happening in the surroundings? Yeah, nothing too major, but something that people could use help with. Um... I'm looking for things to do. Okay, uh... Hmm. What would they know about? Um, uh, the, the woman speaks up uh, and says, um, I don't... Well, I, I've heard about many things going on in this town, although I'm not sure of anything specific. Uh, if you're looking for... Um, uh, I, I have heard something about, uh, there seems to be bandits in the, a lot more in the area. Um, this is definitely a problem. Uh, is, the, is that the kind of thing you were looking for? It can be. Okay, uh, well, in that case, um, let's see here. Not rumors of evil. You're gonna want your important red larches. Nope. Uh. Apologies, my notes got a little scrambled. What the fuck am I doing down here? No. Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Trouble on the red larch. Ah, yes. Um. Okay, well, if bandits, uh, if, if stopping some bandits is what you're looking for, uh, you're going to want to talk to Constable Harburk. Constable um, Harburk? Yeah, uh, he's, he's the one um, uh, in charge of, you know, keeping this town safe. Uh, so he'll probably be able to direct you to where they're hiding out. Excellent. I will. I will speak with him. Thank you, Harper. Thought you said Harper. You nope. said Harper. Harper. Yep. I was like Harper seems like a kind of almost normal name. <laughs> a little too on. <laughs> a little too on the nose. Wait, are you part of the Harpers? No, I'm a Gauntlet member. <laughs> <laughs> God, all my life. <laughs> It's because the Harpers are the most non-secret secret organization. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Constable Harbor. Yep. Okay, uh, so I will. I will say. Uh, very, very good. Uh, thank you very much. I will speak with him. Mm -hmm. uh, and she points you uh, down the road to Area Eleven. Uh, is where you'll find his offices. Okay, I think I will speak with him tomorrow. All right. And then I will go to the Shrine for Tear and, I don't know, light a candle or say a quick prayer or, I don't know, is there like a collection box or anything? Uh, Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say there's probably a collection box out of the, like, by the front door. No, 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 just a collection box for, like, Tear specifically. Tear specifically? I mean, I'm sure you can leave a couple of coins on his on the altar. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave... Uh, I'll leave like three silver pieces. All right. On there. And then uh, 
you know, and then, uh, you know, I, I take my time and then I will head back to the end. All right. And, uh, I believe yep. who else? Barjak, you I... had something you wanted to do? I have a question for the innkeep. Okay. I'll basically go over to the innkeep and say, like, uh, you say it's a woman, right? Mm -hmm. What's her name again? Kelise? Kelly? Yep. Kelisa? Kalisa. Kalisa. Yeah. Kalisa. Kalisa, yep. Yeah, I don't, so, something you, like that. <laughs> pronunciation guide? Because they usually have one. Uh, if it is, it's not with the names. It might be at the end of the book. Okay, oh. so I'll just, like, go over and say, like, I'm sorry to bother you. I just have a question, uh, Kalesa, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Oh, no, it's no trouble at all. What can I help you with? And Barjok will take out his uh, personal journal, flip a few pages, and find the page, and he'll, he'll turn it back. Have you seen this anywhere? And he'll basically, he drew on the page uh, the symbol that's on the top left corner of the map right here. Hmm. So he'll ah, just ask, simple. have you seen this symbol anywhere? Hmm. Would she have seen that symbol? That's a good question. Or do you know do you know of anyone that could have seen it? Um <laughs> Um uh, she'll take a close look, and uh, she's thinking, and uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. It doesn't look very familiar. Uh, where, uh, what, do you, do you know what it is, or, or like what, if, if you don't mind me asking, uh, no clue. Nope. Not sure yourself either, huh? All right. Well, I can't say I've. I've seen it. I've seen it on the road. Hmm. Just uh, like you know, some writers had had it on their uh, on their saddles. I was just wondering. <laughs> uh. Hmm. No, I can't say I've seen that symbol. Although, I mean, you see all kinds of weird things on the road around here. You sure do. You um, sure do. Let's see here. I mean, uh, uh, let's see. I, I mean, there's there's been word in town that there was uh, some someone found a whole like skull pinned to a tree somewhere nearby here. You're like there's hmm. there's some weird stuff around. Luckily, I'm still looking for uh, to make some money. So you point me. Uh, could you point me in the direction where that happened? Oh, the skull? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, if I can find the NPC here. Um, well, I don't know where exactly he saw it, but if you want to know more about it, you're going to have to talk to... Uh, uh, Endrith, um, old, old man Endrith over at, uh, uh, Velovi's Sundries. Okay. And what is Velovi's Sundries? Oh, oh, right. You're new in town. Apollo, Apollo. My, my bad, my bad. Valivos. Or Valivos sundries, yeah. Um, it's just kind of, uh, it's just kind of an odds and ends shop. Um, uh, uh, on the map, it is location 22. Uh, just, just on the, uh, outside of town. Okay. Um, All right. He's, uh, he's a real he's a real nice man. He just kind of, you know, sells a little bit of anything. Um, All right. He's the one who was talking about seeing that weird skull out there. 
All right, I'll go check it out in the morning. Thank you very much. And I think he's just going to sit. And I imagine he has like, I don't know, some book that he's going to sit at a table and read. All right. Uh, Amos, are you going to do anything? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to... What I'm going to do is probably before, while everyone was doing their own thing, I'd probably grab the meal and then um, just like quietly ate my meal, went to my room, shut the door, and I go over my notes that I've been keeping. Okay. potential um, sightings of the thing I was looking for and then take took a break, a long rest. Okay, so you're just going to sleep early then? Yep. Alright, so everyone's got their meals and their things done. So uh, Anything else you guys want to do before you, before you uh, take I a long rest? Back to the inn from the shrine where is everybody else uh let's see if you just went to the shrine and back like uh, i mean i was there probably i mean i didn't just like pop in and out like i you right. know, went to the shrine to the you know altar for tear and mm -hmm. was there for like a little bit of time no of course of course i'd say tedman is probably still out barjak uh you find him kind of in the uh, uh, the main room, just chilling out with a book, and Amos is also nowhere to be found. Okay, I will take a seat at uh, Barjok's table. And I will tell him, I, I may have found a, a lead for more work. Well, turns out, me too. We'll have to talk to it about the. We'll we'll have to talk about it to the others, I guess. True. What did you find? Uh, apparently, someone found a skull pinned to a tree. Ugh. Yeah. The so. Brutal. So, yeah. So whatever, whoever or whatever pinned the skull to the tree, might be a. Uh, it might be a good thing to uh, get rid of it. What did yeah. you find? I, I have heard there are bandits around terrorizing travelers on the road. Uh, we have well, to... those two events uh, might be linked. I, this is possible. Well, uh, for the bandits, I was directed to speak to the constable to get more information. That's a good so, idea. Yeah, yeah, maybe tomorrow in the morning before we leave for the rock. We could speak with the constable and then have been take care of bandits, take care of monster nailing schools to trees, take care of uh, anything else needs taken care of. I have a question for the for the constable too. We'll see we'll see what happens. Yeah, well, in the morning. Would you go, look at that? Having teammates uh, is a is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I have been traveling a long, long time now. It is better with company. I think I'm starting to realize that too. Uh, he'll close the book and he'll say, "Well, you are young. young if people always think I uh, can do everything alone, it's not true." Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could do anything alone. It's just easier with <laughs> other people. <laughs> it's definitely easier to not get killed with more people. I would agree. I am young, but I'm not stupid. Huh. All right. People are stupid, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. I'll go to sleep too. All right. So, you all head up to your rooms for the night, and... Uh, By the way, I say this because I was young and stupid once, too. No. 
Maybe not the stupidest most, but still. <laughs> all right, so you all head up to your rooms uh, for the night. Uh, and for some of you, it, it is incredibly comfortable being able to sleep in a proper bed. Um, and it, uh, you all yeah. uh, rest well and wake up the next morning. Uh, with no I think we're issues. all we're all happy to have a bed right now. I think the only one who's used to sleeping in a comfortable bed is Amos. <laughs> yeah, Probably, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I think Ted Tedmond. I don't know if it was a comfortable bed, but you at least had a bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> for a while. For a while. <laughs> um, I think I, I think I, I had a like a sleeping bag for the longest time. But yeah. anyway. Probably. I'm probably on my, like, third or fourth bedroll at this point. He's <laughs> <laughs> been traveling so long, he we just all, eats, he just eats them after a, a while. No, they just fall apart. <laughs> all had a rough life. They fall apart. All right. Um, yeah, so. So, yeah, you all wake up. Um, yeah, old horn through them and that. Just gone. What's the plan now, everybody? Well, speak to the constable. All right. Well, have yeah. breakfast. Then, breakfast, <laughs> breakfast first. then speak first. Yeah. It's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't usually eat in the morning. We should start. <laughs> start now. Have breakfast. All right. I'm going to eat the bread that uh, was bought to me like yesterday. The price of room, so don't waste your money. All right. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to eat the bread that uh, that uh, I think it's Amos that uh, bought us the bread uh, yesterday. So oh, that I'm mushroom gonna, bread! I'm gonna Hell eat yeah. That now. <laughs> I'm gonna eat whatever breakfast the inn serves to guests in the morning. Uh yeah. You you um walk outside and uh, there there seems to be the usuals setting up. You can smell uh, bread. The smell of bread wafting down from the street, but so if I see anyone that's not like super super busy at the moment, I'm gonna ask them about the, why they're cooking outside. <laughs> um. So yeah, you you br you bring that up to the uh, uh, the person who seems to be in charge here, <coughs> and uh, he explains well. Um, uh, you see, well, there was a kitchen behind the building. Um, there was a there there was a there was an issue with the chimney, and it kind of it kind of burnt down. Uh, we're still we're still working on getting it fixed, so that's why we have this uh temporary setup here. Oh yes, must be very careful with fire. <laughs> Says the sorcerer. <laughs> I, I, speaking from experience. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's it's, it's why Velik left his hometown. So oh yeah, no, I know. Burn it down. <laughs> yep. Oh my God, do we have a Caleb out. backstory? Yeah. Huh? Uh, the, yeah. No. No, uh, no, no, in, no. In the in the, the not Russian accent, not Velik speaking. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. In the. Uh, in, Out of care. In the description of the swinging sword, it says, uh, "The sword has one reoccurring problem: kitchen fires. The one-story <laughs> kitchen annexed at the back of the inn is currently out of commission, and was initially built with poor, dr poorly drawing chimneys. Right now, the cooking is rudimentary and done out in the yard on grills flanking the bread ovens. The dining room is mainly used for drinking, with the helm, the tavern across the road, <clears throat> currently providing the best meals in town that travelers can easily buy." All right. So I guess let's go talk you can't to mess up the continental breakfast. Yeah, it's uh, it's not quite a full continental breakfast, but there is food. <laughs> That's basically so it's basically you know, plague air continental breakfast. Yeah, he's he's got like a cauldron of porridge <laughs> and some fruits because and stuff. <laughs> I've spent probably half the year out of town, and yeah, no breakfast like, hotels aren't what they used to be right now. <laughs> Oof, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go 
and let's go talk to the to this constable and then I have another fella called Endreth that I would like to ask some questions to. Sure. Tedmund, we might have found some new jobs. Oh great. Um what are they? Just quick uh, and something I'm... that nails skulls to threes. Alright. Um, top of that, we might get, want to go uh, see the rock spear uh, later today and later today also. Okay. Well, I don't know. Are we going to do uh, Lance Rock first, then Bandits and Skulls, or Skulls and Bandits and then Rock? I mean, depending I mean, on which one is more urgent and closest. Yeah. There is Amos, anyways. Probably uh, sleeping. Yeah. A- Amos, or in tavern. Amos is currently uh, you know, AFK. We'll we'll just say we'll just say Amos is. Still on phone call, huh? Yeah. We'll, okay. We'll just say that Amos is uh, just following you around for now. Okay. All right. So, so you head uh, over to. Uh, so so, the constable is is here. Area 11, and then you had to go what down to 22. So yep, we'll go yep. to the table first because it's closer, it's on the way down to the other one. Sure, sure. All right, so we go to the constable. All right, uh, so you make your way down there, and at first, you're a little confused um, because uh, you approach the area you were told about, and you find four identical single story stone buildings uh, in a straight line. The front building has a pla- has a painted sign of a ham being carved by a cleaver with no accompany- accompanying words. Um, butcher shop. Yes, this is a this is a Red Larch's butcher. Uh, mm-hmm. Second building. Second building. Uh, walking down the line. Are we talking about twenty right now? No, eleven. Oh. Mm, yep. Well, there's four identical building buildings to here too. So no, yeah, well, no. you can Number understand 11. my confusion. Uh, so the uh, y- you continue walking along. The uh, judging by the smell coming from it, the second building is probably a smokehouse. Uh, but the third one seems to be um uh, uh oh, seems to be more of a house. Um. And you see a small, like, uh, let's see here. Um, you, you see uh, a couple of people hanging outside the fourth building, um, and asking about them, or asking them about uh, the uh, constable. They point you to the third building and say, he's well, he should be in there right now. There's no sign on that? building nope nope okay that's that's just where he okay. lives <laughs> and knock on the door all right let me see here <laughs> yes thank you um this is a a, a class x stream we even have authentic sound effects <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yep, uh, so he, uh, Constable, uh, a man you assume to be Constable Harbuck, Harburk, there we go, opens the door and says, uh, well, how, uh, how can I help you all? Uh, yes, are you Constable Harburk? Uh, he, he nods, and, uh, he, he look, he looks quite tired, but yeah, he, he nods and says, yep, that's me. Is there, uh, there's some kind of issue in town you need help with? Not exactly. It's more, maybe we can help you. Uh, I was told at the shrine, uh, yesterday evening that there is trouble with bandits nearby. Uh, is there perhaps a bounty oh on him that maybe we could collect on? Mm. He kind of like strokes his beard a little bit and says, "Yep, yep. Oh yeah, no, we've got a 
uh, we, we've got a bandit issue in town, all right. Uh, well, not in town, but around around here. Um, I will interrupt. Yes. And I will again show him the same picture on my uh, on, in my journal. Any of them wearing this symbol by, by any chance? Um, he kind of like leans down to get a closer look at it and says... Uh, now bear in mind, I haven't seen these bandits myself. Um, he kind of points to like the uh, the four other people nearby. The it's kind of just me and these four here. We're barely enough to protect the the town itself. We don't really have the uh, manpower to go take care of these bandits. Um, they've just been kind of attacking people on the road. But no, I can't say I've. Can't say I've seen this before. What about this one? As I show a scrap of paper with a scribble of the symbol, um, like in the bottom right. Uh, nope, nope, don't. That one don't doesn't look too familiar either. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry about that, folks. But uh, um, so. Let's... Uh, Where did we find these bandits, and uh, what kind of bounty is on them? Well, currently, no bounty, but given their uh, <clears throat> recent escapades, it's safe to assume they've gathered quite a bit of gold at this point. Um, so then any loot would be ours to keep? Any loot's yours to keep. Anyone who's been raided by them has probably left town already, so it's not like we have anyone to give it back to. But if you can if you can clear them out, you'd be doing uh, this town and the surrounding areas a great service, mister. Well, where, where can we find them, then? Where indeed? Let me check them. Send you guys to the map. Uh... Red Larch surrounding areas. The you're looking for. Oh, it's on the GM layer, right? Not the map layer. There we go. Here you go. Uh, you should be able to see bears and bows now. Oh, that's right. That's that's right next door. Yep, right, right close by. All right. Bears and bows. Yep. That is eight miles away, as opposed to Lance Rock. So about 12 miles away. Almost 12. So. And from bears to. And from there. And from there, yeah, how much is that? Oh. Uh, 17 miles. What the well, we could make a triangle. Wow. Okay. Oh, it, right. Apologies. The map is... Uh, there we go. We got the road back. We could make a triangle. We could make a triangle from Red Larch to Bears and Bows and then to Lance Rock. And then back to Red Larch. Oh, yeah. That would be... Ah. It's a long day. Yep. That's like two days. That's definitely going to involve a camping out in the woods mm -hmm. at some point. Well, at least we'll. I guess we will um, save on. Uh... On the rooms, then. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, go ahead and take you back to the town, then. All right. Now, if you don't mind, before we leave, I'd like to go see and take a look at the uh, at the uh, sundry shop. If we want, I have a. 
um, the skull I was talking to you about. Oh, of course, of course. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll head towards a twenty two, and uh, ask around for uh, uh, Andrith. Okay. So yeah, you ha head over there. Um, aside from the bewildering profusion of doors, barrels, rotting old furniture, and tools leaning against its outside walls, this building looks like a private home. A small faded sign at the front door reads Valivo's Sundries. Uh, looking through the windows, it appears that the rooms are crammed to the rafters with new wares and used items of all sorts. All right, I'm gonna go up to up to it, and I will knock on the door. Uh, looks like the um. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, he um. Uh, a small scuttling man. Uh, kind of walk or pulls open the door and says, uh, <clears throat> and says, uh, come, come on in, come on in. Shop's open. Hello, sir. I unfortunately am not here to buy anything. I was told that you saw a skull appended to a tree nearby. Am I, I mean, did I hear correctly? Hmm. Skull pit. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, I overheard one of the kids uh, mentioning that. Uh, um. It's about a. Seemed like it was about a half day's walk down the larch path, uh, and then about four miles east up into the hills. All right, I'll take notes of the, of that in my journal. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything? Have you seen any other strange uh, things around here, sir? Uh, strange. Oh, there's always uh, you know, this is we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. There's always uh, there's always something strange going on. But uh, I mean, I'm I'm a little too old to be dealing with most of it myself unfortunately well not not really cut out for the uh, uh heroic daring do's back from back in the day <laughs> well luckily for you we are so do you need uh, uh, do you need us to do anything for you mm, lovely uh hmm let's see here just a second. Look through his thing. So, is the are the direction that he gave uh, enough to to? Uh, is there going to be like a spot on the map, or do I have? To no, there remember? there is a spot on the map. I can I can go ahead and reveal that for you. Okay. Oh no! Oh, oh, wrong wrong map. Uh, da, 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 da. Where? Where did it go? Red Larch. Red Larch. Oh, the token's messed up. Red Larch surroundings. Uh, unfortunately, uh, where he's directing down the Larch path is over this way. Oh, yeah. We're going to wait for this one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe wait on that one. All right. Fair enough. At that point, after uh, just like... Looking at his map, uh, Barjok is just going to be taken aback a little bit, and he'll say, "Man, how far away do these do these kids go?" <laughs> I mean, when there's not much around, well, they they kind of just hear things on their own. I don't know if they heard it from someone traveling or if they just kind of went out wandering. They they just they just kind of do what they will. Lucky bastards! My mom wouldn't let me out of her sights. <laughs> anyway. All 
right? Okay, so. Uh, does the old man have any other things to add to? Uh, does the man, old man have any tasks to give us before we leave? Uh, no. Nope. I think that's uh, Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. Good Lord, why and, is this? And, uh, yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> You are playing around in the map layer entirely too much, DM. I'm trying to fix it. I'm, I'm. There we go. Now it's not snapping. I don't know why Alt just suddenly wasn't. I think my keyboard's gone goofy on me. I need to get a wired keyboard. This one's stopped working as well. <laughs> um, all right. So. All right. Yeah, I think it's. A little funky that the hexes don't line up. Yeah, yeah, that's just the way this map came. I, I, I don't have anything I can really do about that. God damn it, we're roll twenty. Yeah, I know, right? This one's just kind you of have a, one job. This one's just kind of a, a map map though. It's not a huge. All right, so huge deal. Anyway, so at that point. Uh, Barjot yeah, will turn oh, back and. Where do we begin? Well, the last laugh is a is a bit too far away from my taste. Yeah, we should wait. I vote bears and bows, then lion's rock, and then we can come back and rest. Okay. And then afterwards, if we find any 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 other thing. <sighs> My, any other interesting thing we can do it or we can just go back to the last laugh alright sounds like a plan so you're off to bears and bows first then mm -hmm. yes oh. the last laugh is a, is a, a little bit too far away a little bit shall we uh, maybe take a quick break here yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, and that way I, I can draw you guys up a map. And and also kind of get yourself organized. Hmm. Give some time for Sybil to join to join back us with us. Yeah, yeah and to join back with us. Time to uh, finish her business and be able to actually speak again. Not have to split. Right. So let's say we come back at 20? 20. 2020? 20, uh sure sounds good. Oh. Cool. yeah 820 okay so like seven minutes okay sure okay all right we'll be right back then chat see you in a few bye
All right, we are back. Oh, no, hold up. I, I forgot to go back to full screen on Discord. There we go. Now we're back. <laughs> we are professionals. So, let's go for a few uh, freaking bears and bows. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, it's still early morning when you all uh, head out towards where uh, you were told there should be a bandit camp. Uh, and after a little while of hiking... Me... I say we approach stealthily. Sounds good. Yes. Discretion was never my strong suit. Okay. Be quiet! Alright, so in That's that what case... I'm saying. It's not my strong suit. All right. Yeah. Well, in that case, you all Funny. Want to, you all want to make me some stealth checks then? Sure. I don't think that? I used my inspiration yet. Did oh, I? Yeah. Um, no, I, I don't think so. You still have it. To be a day of nat ones, and I got I'll it. I'll take that inspiration. Mm. Oh, I didn't need to, but hey, oh, I used God. it. I'll say you don't have to spend it. You don't. Wow. Want. Oh, I could keep it? Okay, then I'll yeah, keep it. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you hold on to it. That, that's... Um, all right. So a 20, a 10, a 20, and a 10. Wow. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, I believe that averages out to... 15. 15, yeah. 15. 15. So... We should have a good score. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> um. So yeah, you guys are making. Oh shit! We're spotted. No, no, no. I I had them roll with disadvantage. <laughs> they rolled a four. <laughs> you guys. You know, are... you know, you can roll those so we don't see those. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to explain what the rolls meant, but I just thought that was too funny. Was <laughs> that so they rolled a four? <laughs> um. But anyways, you. So you guys are uh, uh, making your way along the road, and you hear and you found the area that supposedly these bandits have been attacking. Uh, and nearby, uh, short, di uh, you find a brush-choked dell a short distance from the Carn Road. Uh, Cairn, in that's inside. A, a -A -R -N is Cairn. Cairn, yes, yeah, sorry, the Cairn Road. Um, uh, pe peeking down into there, you see four surly-looking humans sharpening their blades around a fire. Not Karen, Cairn. Cairn. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know. That's I what know. I said. No, I'm talking to the French guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was making a goddamn joke. Jeez. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'm just taking right. the opportunity to give you shit for being a French speaker. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I was At I was confused point. for a second. I'm like, I know how to say Karen. <laughs> I I used to own a I used to own a Karen Terrier. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, so four figures sharpening their swords. Yep, around four the surly campfire. looking humans sharpening their blades around the fire. Nearby is a wagon with a wooden cage atop it. Inside the cage, you see a black bear pawing around. Oh, God. Fantastic. I love it. Um, All right. Here's, a, almost, here's an uh, idea. Actually, I'll go ahead and reveal them since, yeah. since you guys I almost looked at Violet and I whisper, I want that bear. <laughs> <laughs> here's an idea. Who's a really good shot? I don't think you have any range attackers uh, aside from your magic users. I have a light crossbow. I too have a light crossbow. Uh, How about we try and shoot off the lock and set the bear loose on those hey, bandits? Hey, I also have a light crossbow. <laughs> I think I'd be better off with like some of my spells. Hey, um, I can use uh, control flames. I have mage hand. That I can like cause the uh, the fire to like you know do crazy shit. 
to distract them. All right. I really wanted it to try and set off the bear. <laughs> set <laughs> off the bear. <laughs> oh. I want that bear. Um, I mean, do you want to? You know do you want to try and get a closer it. look at the cage? Ooh, 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 ooh. Play. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um. So, before when we start this, I'm gonna explain this to the group. Like, oh, well, I can cause the fire to jump out at the guy closest to the fire, and possibly <laughs> set him on fire. <laughs> And it should be very distracting for all of them. Good plan. Sure. Good plan. And yeah. then you all do whatever it is you want to do. I don't care. Amos. I you could... said you want the, you want yeah. the bear. Right? Yes, I want the bear. Or the bear open the door. Or pet. I mean, we could get the bear after we kill the bandits. It's four against four. <sighs> It'll be four so against three. The bear, so we just forget about the bear for now, is what yeah. I'm hearing. Yeah. I can still set the guy on fire and distract them, and then we all go in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's so, do that. In that Barjok case, will ready his light crossbow. All right. In that case, what? I will. Uh... I can instantaneously expand the flame five feet in one direction, provided that wood or other fuel, other fuel being the <laughs> is present in the location. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Well, let's go ahead and start with some initiative first. Oof. That. Come on, man. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. And the same exact. Oh, they always modifier. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're they're all. I forgot about that. Oh. We like a surprise round here. Yep, you don't worry. Yeah, you guys surprise, all have surprise, surprise. round. <clears throat> also, the bit. Also, the bandits rolled a four, so you'd be fine, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so. we have double surprise. Yep, pretty much. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and sort these. Descending order. There we go. Amos, you are first. Um. I would say just hold your action until I set the guy on fire. If we want to stick with that plan. Well, I mean, I'm going to shoot it with uh, a light crossbow. It's going to be, it's going to be, uh, let's see what I'm going to do. What? Uh, well, then I guess I won't be setting the guy on fire. Come on. I'm going to set the guy on oh, fire. You can still no, set, I'm, I'm set the guy on fire. You can I know, I'm just trying to see if they have to make a saving throw. If they don't need to make a saving throw, I'm going to do something different. But, um, yeah, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Bane on the three guys that he won't set on fire. Me shooting one of the guy that you're not going to set on fire is not going to stop you from setting a guy on fire. No, but the point of me setting the guy on fire is to distract everyone. That's going to be the moment that distracts them all. And then you yeah, I'm I'm holding. You're shooting. You're going to warn them. Hey, we're under attack. All and right, fine. I'm being on fire, saying, "Hey, something freaky is going on here. What the hell?" Oh, all right, up to you three. know what? I'm gonna try to creep up closer. To see if I can get within 30 feet. Yeah. Right, right there. So all those three guys are going to cast Bane. Awesome. Yeah, I'm holding Bane until Vel Velik sets the guy on fire. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make some uh, some charisma. Oh, charisma saving throws. Oh. After, after, after the fire. After the fire. fire. Okay. Okay. Uh, holding it. Hold action. That's Bar what she's going to do. Barjak, it's your turn. Well, I'm going to take out my light crossbow. I'm going to creep a little bit a little bit farther, too. But, like, uh, hold on. How close am I at the moment? So I'm about there. Yep. So I'm going to creep up about there. And then, basically, I'm going to just, like, uh, argue while whispering with uh, with uh, Velik. I just say, like, 
I can shoot him. It's not going to change anything. No, let me set him on fire first. I'm going to oh, fine. And I am going to hold my action to shoot my crossbow at that guy as soon as Velik tries to put this guy on fire. All right. That's my turn. That's your turn. Velik. All right. I'm going to creep up just a little bit so that I can get my 60 foot range of the, the their campfire there and then i cast control flames mm-hmm. and i instantaneously expand the flame five feet in the direction of that guy right there <laughs> and set him on fire all right o- almost just like a wave of fire just suddenly like leaps up from the fire pit and splashes down on him uh Let's go ahead and call it a let's call it a D eight worth of damage, and a very surprised bandit. You know what? Oh, you know what? No, fuck that. That was too cool. Yeah, six. There we go. We'll go with a six. <laughs> I think I'm rubbing off on you a little bit. Eh? No, like, I, was gonna no adva- I was going to give it. I was going to give him advantage for making a cool move, but instead, I'm just going to give him better damage. <laughs> they gotta make. Charisma saving. All Three right. of them gotta make charisma saving throws. Three charisma saving throws. Oh boy, they're low. They're they're uh, CR one eighth band. Let's let's let's. <laughs> oh, fourteen. That's actually not bad. That saves. Holy shit. That wow. saves. That, that fails. <laughs> wow. All right. I was making jokes about their uh, plus zero. <clears throat> stats but like that that there's always the option of rolling high yeah no these these have these, a good modifier these guys just roll high. like motherfuckers all right and <clears throat> uh barjak do i have advantage on this check because we uh because they are surprised uh and distracted or... <laughs> and yeah and also we this guy is currently them. screaming <laughs> and we were hidden from them do i have advantage uh i believe that's how it works so let's go with yes <laughs> all right a 15 i uh, we'll say on this one right here yeah 15 hits did I, did I did i say which one i was gonna hit you said you're gonna hit the one that has skull and crossbones well i'm gonna shoot him you said you said that one <laughs> well and that's the one i'm gonna shoot then all right but yeah 15 will hit four four points of Chunk. piercing damage All right. They're all freaking out. There's a crossbow and a lot of fire. <laughs> Ted, one of those feels weird. Well, um, since I just I can't reach them yet, I'll just go forward and um. Fighter man, mm. fighter man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, fighter man. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do much, but I guess I could just dash. Yeah, I I hate them. (laughs) Sure, I'll shoot the same one as uh, Barjok then. All right. Oh, Oh, unfortunately that misses. (laughs) It goes over his head. (laughs) All right, now it's the bandit's turn. It's Uh, a surprise round, so they don't. Oh, right, they don't get a turn. They don't do shit. Uh, I, I will say the, or so the bandits are all, yeah, the bandits are all screaming. Uh, this one's on fire. This one has a crossbow bolt in it. And the bear seems to have perked up at this and begins slamming around inside his cage. Perfect. Amos, your turn. Oh. Um, almost. Uh, <laughs> almost. I've gotten it right this whole time. I only messed up that once. I must that I go. Yeah. Um. Because I'm focusing on Bane for the other guy, I'm going to start playing like a really harsh note on my flute, but only uh, this guy can hear it. And okay. vicious mockery. Ooh. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> Fail. <laughs> so, uh, Heck yeah, give me that D four. <laughs> yes, D four damage. 
So powerful. Uh, uh, the best cantrip. Uh, <laughs> two I points have, of I had a psychic damage. That killed a lot of bad guys with vicious mockery. Oh, it's so And good. disadvantage on the next attack roll. Heck yes, he does. All right, yeah, no, he takes the hit. Um, he, he suddenly, so now we got one on fire, one with a crossbow in his arm, and the other one just, no. ke and the other one just keeled over with a headache, and this other one is very confused. Mockery is not, vicious mockery is not like in one of those cantrip that the power gamers go to, but it is that cantrip that everyone takes when they want to show off, right? <laughs> yes. That one oh. cantrip that people just like, it's just like adds insult to injury right yeah. literally it's, it's insult using to cause the, injury the least, mm -hmm. it's, it's insult to kill you cause... using the least damaging uh, cantrip ever all right sorry yeah, other teammates can't hear my flute playing but that one particular that has disadvantage on its next attack roll does so it's more insult because he can't other people don't hear it oh yeah all <laughs> right and next up is bajok <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, six. I'm going to holster my um, my my like crossbow, and would I have time to um, take out both my axe and my shield, or just my axe? I'll say your axe. I believe the shield. Actually, yeah, the shield probably takes. I think the shield takes like a bonus action or something. So sure, you can get them both out. All right. I'm going to I'm going to attack this one with my battle axe. I don't have advantage anymore. Nope. To battle axe. Oh, come on. Uh, unfortunately, a 10 doesn't hit. All right. Well, that's my turn. <laughs> Level 1. <laughs> Level yep. Velik. <laughs> yep. Uh just because this guy has to subtract from a D4 from his saving throw, that's just a, because of Bane, right? Uh, -huh. uh is it from yeah, saving so... throws too? Yes, yeah. it is. All right. So that guy's going to get... Oh, so damn. He's going to get that. I'm going to create a bonfire, right, where he's standing. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm noticing a theme with that sorcerer. <laughs> Burn it with fire. What it, it? I mean, there, there's there's no theme. It's not like almost every damaging spell is fire based. <laughs> we don't know his spells. Yeah, no, no. Like straight up, like a lot of spells in D and D are fire based. Just cause. Anyways, so anyway, he gets a deck DC saving throw. Minus D four deck saving throw. All right, Dex. Doesn't even need to do that. Nope, nope. He already <laughs> failed. I mean, do you want it? Four. <laughs> oh, it's already rolled. It's a D8 fire damage, and I rolled a four. If you okay. look right above the spell description. Yep. All right. So oh. he 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 also rolled a four on his bane, so he takes extra. Oh, oh that's what that was. Yeah. He, he is extra failed. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he. Uh, he is freaking he's he's sitting there on the ground suddenly there's a crossbow bolt in his arm and there's a fire under his butt he's not having a good day Ooh. with the other guy on fire can i roll fire gems for him again Ooh. uh you know what? He... he hasn't had an action i'm gonna give you i'm uh i'm gonna get yeah let's, let's roll like a yeah i was about to say a d4 probably yeah no he's still on fire and he is not enjoying it. Level one spellcaster damage. <laughs> Heck yeah. Spellcaster. I just think it's really cool that I got to set him on fire with a cantrip that no damage. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I'm I'm down for it. His his, I mean, you didn't really set him on fire. More like you set his pants on fire, but they are going up fast. I mean. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, no, he is he's he's definitely still not enjoying this experience. <laughs> uh Tedmund. Um I'm gonna take out my short sword and uh run over here. Alright. Um and I'm gonna start poking him. 
<laughs> Pokey poke. Pokey. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, both of those hit. Oh. <laughs> okay, first damage. Uh huh. <laughs> and second, that's a uh, fifteen. You can't be alive. <laughs> I will say, I will say. Uh, from that first ta attack alone, you took him down to one hit point. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's uh, your your thorough poking just immediately like you just dash out of the bushes and just immediately stab him. He is down. All right. Now Good. I'm gonna use my reaction because it's my time to shine now. I'm going to use my blood curse of the fallen puppet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Edge Lord, what Basically, do you got? You know, when, you know, an Avatar when uh, when uh, there's like these uh, blood mancer that can just like puppet your people. Oh, the Bloodbender, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what happens. I'm just going to, as he falls down, my eyes will, it, my capillaries in my eyes will like explode, and I'll cry like tears of blood, and I'll just uh -huh. like extend my hand, and I'll grasp him, and of course, I'm going to amplify, so I'm going to take. Two points of damage. And what's his movement speed? Uh, 30 feet. All right, so he can move 15 feet. So I think this one seems to be the most damage, right? Uh, he's taken I mean, like he's definitely eight. taken a significant amount of damage, yeah. All right, in that case, I'm going to move to move that guy right here. And make an attack against this guy. All right. And he is going to add two to his attack roll. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, the this bandit, um, just having a sword driven through its chest, suddenly, like, in the middle of its fall, lurches right back up, and charges over to its friend with a scimitar in hand, and eight, nine, Come on. ten. Nope, not enough. Uh, his, huh. his buddy. Fuck you, dice. His buddy I was gonna screaming, be cool. like, "What the, f what the fuck, man!" Just dive rolls out of the way, but just barely. I was gonna be cool. God damn it! <laughs> All right, it's the bandit's turn. Uh, first, the bear continues to thrash I'm about. I'm angry right now. Uh, and nope, not quite. Uh, it's... I'm legitimately angry right now. <laughs> I literally took two damage and used my only blood curse for this. <laughs> I'm pissed. Does does he immediately just fall <laughs> over? You don't get. I'm taking the least damage, so he do... might get another chance to to try and smack. So him. so do do you get to keep attacking with him, or is it just the once? No, it's it's that one time. Oh, oh he falls dead. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, the bear continues to smash around in its uh, in its cage. Barjak, you notice out of the corner of your eye, uh, the lock on it seems to have been broken, and it's just being uh -oh. it's just being like held in place with an iron spike. Um, I'm going to turn back to Amos and say, "I hope you know how to end old bears, because you're about to get them." Uh, oh boy. Let's see here. Um, well, this one, this one runs over at Tadman, just like you killed my best friend. <laughs> I almost killed you too. <laughs> and, uh, well, he didn't know who the fuck did that, but he's gonna take. Uh, actually, no, he's just gonna stand up and he's gonna pull out a crossbow. He has disadvantage on his attack roll. Yes, he does, and he's gonna try and shoot Tadman. Ted. <laughs> Poof. Wow. Wow! It, you he is freaking out. It whiffs. Uh, this one here next to Barjak. Me? It whiffs. Oh, he has disadvantage. He has oh, disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Barjak, one's yeah. gonna take a swing at you with a yeah. scimitar. Sure. A freaking minus four. Yep, with minus four. That's um. Uh, so will a four? Yep. Will a fourteen hit? That misses. All nope, right. That misses. He misses, and then the one that is currently on fire. Uh, and screaming is going to uh, use his turn to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's current. He, his action is to put himself out. <laughs> oh. oh man, Amos, your turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. 
Hold on. The one fighting Barjok didn't move, did he? Oh, shoot. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Uh... Yeah, that bonfire is still there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Create bonfire. Get burnt. When it moves onto the fire space for the first time or ends its End turn there. Yeah, no, he forgot. The DM forgot to move him. I should probably put down a bonfire mark. You know what? There, bonfire marker. <laughs> uh, all right, how much is it? A dex, or it's a dex save. Can he make a dex save? That's also minus yes, four. Yes, he can. But... Oh wait, no, yeah, minus four. Yeah, I don't think it'll change. Still saves. It, but... Okay. He still saves. Still saves. Oh yeah, so the thirteen. Yeah, no, he makes it. Uh, he's currently dancing around the hot coals, trying to stand up. Now it's um, now it is Amos's turn. Um, I'm gonna cast Vicious Mockery on the same guy. <laughs> All right. He keeps hearing, he, he hears a taunting tune, but it's only him. Yeah, so if he was to ever ask someone if they heard it, it's only him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is awful music. What are you <laughs> talking fails. about, bro? Bro. Yeah. And then... Bro, I'm not hearing I think because Barjok will probably need it. Um, I'm gonna give him Bardic Inspiration. Don't forget to roll your damage for your vicious mockery. You son of a oh bitch. yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, three points of vicious mockery. But yeah, Barjok, you get um a Bardic Inspiration of a D6. Just because you said that, I probably will need it. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it works well, for 10 minutes. Yeah, so. we'll, we'll see if you need it or not. Speaking of, Barjak, your turn. All right. It goes oh. to your attack rolls and saving throws, by the way. So. All right. Well, I'm, I am going to attack that guy because there's nothing else I can do. So <laughs> there you go. See, I didn't need your inspiration. You can still use it for the next 10 minutes. There you go. Where was that roll when the other bandit, anyway, 11 points of damage. I'm pretty sure he's done. Oh, oh yeah, no, he is super dead. Alright. I will then walk around and go over here. Alright. And that's my turn. There's a there's a flaming bandit on the ground. Velik, your turn. <laughs> uh, I move the bonfire over to this guy. Oh, oh sorry. This guy, right here. Yeah. guy. <laughs> Basically, I just I recast the cantrip. So, All right. And it's concentration. So the old one dies out, and the new one, and then the new one starts right, you know, in that guy's square. Just. All right. So that will be. Da, 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 create bonfire. Ooh. All right, he makes a dex save. And no, he, he fails. Six points of fire damage. Uh, Hellfire springs up underneath him, and he it's just... It's not Hellfire, it's just regular fire. <laughs> and he... I'm not the tiefling. <laughs> and I'm he, he tiefling. crumples to the ground. Uh... He he stands up, having finally managed to put himself out, and is immediately lit on fire again. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, I love yeah, it already. Yeah. That's kind of horrible. Yeah, no. <laughs> we laugh about it, but it's kind of horrible. Oh yeah, no, definitely. He's a bandit. He's a robbing, murdering bastard. He it. All right. Speaking of <clears throat> deserving it, Tedmund, Mister Crit well, Lord over here. Uh, you got one. I'm gonna left. charge towards him. Heck yeah. And. Stab him. Stab him. Give him the stabby stabs. He's gonna do like the fighters do. Uh, one of them hits. Four, five damage. Oh. He is barely standing. Like, you, you land a serious blow onto him. All right, now barely. <laughs> barely. Uh, speaking uh, of... <laughs> disadvantage. <laughs> The bear is still, oh, the bear is still stuck. He's still rattling around in his crate in his cage. And uh yes, he has disadvantage. Nine. <laughs> <A> nine. <laughs> uh 
his blood-soaked weapon slips from his hand as he attempts to swing at you. <laughs> it's you wonder how these guys manage to rob anybody. <laughs> Actually, probably the same way you guys are doing it right now. Element of surprise. Yeah. Anyways, Amos, you're up. Just to keep it consistent. Uh huh. It's just mockery. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I hope he... No! Oh, that's fine. That's no! fine. He literally had one hit point left. Uh -huh. That's oh. fine. Oh. That's fine. I'm, dis I'm sorry. I'm disappointed for you. All right, Barjak, you're up. Barjak finally Barry. gets that kill. End, <laughs> end this man's misery. Who killed me? Actually, actually no. Do I see right the, like, the lock? The lock is broken, right? Oh yeah, no. It's it's just oh, like no. it's just like held in by a metal pin. Can I try to like reinforce the thing somehow? Like put like uh uh is uh, uh no, it's not no. Uh, I can't like, like how. I don't know. Take one of their swords and just like jam it in the opening so that it doesn't open as easily or something. It's just a big metal cage. I don't really All see right, how never that mind. can I'm help. I'm gonna kill the other one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to help you there. <laughs> I will lie. Oh, he's got. He's got the. Uh, he's got the um, bardic inspiration. I, so I won't need it. There you go. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Ooh, <man>. Overkill. <laughs> His exact max hit points <laughs> in one swing. Yep. Yep. Uh. Yeah. He goes. He goes down. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Um, yeah, that's my turn. That was pretty brutal for a beatdown. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Oh man. What do we What do we do for the bear? Um. So well, the almost, bear continues to rattle around in its almost crate. Want, almost once. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Is it uh, bear skin rug or bear pet? I was thinking bear pet, but I don't have speak with animals, so. Who knows? <laughs> um, so I don't yeah, have in, a plan. In in this um, this like, seems uh, this seems slightly out of character for you, almost from what little I've seen. For you, not have plan. Eh, I mean, it was kind of an urge that I wanted the bear. I wasn't expecting to see a bear here, so it kind of makes sense that I wouldn't have a plan. It's literally called bears and bows. <laughs> I didn't know this particular bandit camp would have a bear with them. I, oh man. Um, but yeah, okay. So looking around, um, let's see here. Looking around this uh, cave, it's it's more of just like an outcropping in a in a hillside. Uh, you find crates full of uh, stolen food, wine, weapons, and coins. Um, there is a, uh, a second wagon, uh, actually, uh, actually, no, it's just the wagon. Uh, looking around, you see, um, the remain, the remains of their dinner seem to have been, like, a giant boar, and then there's just the black bear that they managed to capture. Initiate so is the combat over at this point? Uh well, let me just make one more. Oh, is that enough? Nope, nope. You need DC's a little higher than that. Uh so <clears> the bear <throat> is still slamming around. Uh okay, Amos. Do you uh roll me animal handling or maybe performance? Okay. I'm definitely going to use my inspiration just in case. <laughs> All right. Did I, did I click it? Okay, good. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, use my inspiration. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Huh. Uh, using your... Um, uh, as you begin to play... You feel the uh, familiar sensation of the weave begin to uh, distort around you a little bit. 
and uh, the black bear begins to stop its or begin begins to calm down a little bit and just kind of like sits there and tilts its head to listen to you. Uh, looking closer, it looks uh, very hungry, like it's like it's starving. It's probably why okay. it was trying to break out. Is there any of that boar left, boar meat left from the bandit dinner? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but there's some perfectly good bandits that have been oh, yeah. that have been torturing it for a while. So you know, yeah. are we sure this sure. is going to send the right message to the bear? Though? <laughs> <laughs> I hand the charred remains of this one to the bear. You just kind of like push it through the through the the gate. Yeah. <laughs> the cage. Uh. Yeah, it kind of sniffs and begins munching on it. It's very yeah, hungry. Yeah, I specifically take the cooked one. <laughs> oh, I think actually, that was this one. No, yeah. both of them are pretty cooked. Yeah. But <laughs> this well, one's, one is one one's that cooked, has one's fire. well done. This one pretty much got all fire damage. All right. There's nothing but fire damage. <laughs> so, um, uh, you begin looking around, uh, Amongst the uh, crates and other stolen goods, you find uh, several coin pur purses, which added up their content uh, amounts to... Please don't tell me there's like 100 copper and then 22 silver. Nope, there's then... 99 copper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Great. I got copper. 24 over. Um, How the hell are we going to, div to divide that up? That's your problem. I, hold on. Uh, I'm good. Uh, but looking amongst the <laughs> other plunder, the um, the weapons and the uh, the bottles of wine and stuff like that, uh, you assume there's probably about another 100 gold worth of supplies if you could sell them off. Um, if everyone wants to take I can take slightly less coin because I'm I think I have the most money so all right well one uh, of us could so basically if, if we uh, take the gold piece and we end up splitting like one gold piece um into silver then we can um let me see we can do three gold pieces each mm -hmm. 21 silver pieces each and then it'll be um 24 copper pieces each 24 copper pieces well we could do 25 for three of us and 24 for one I'll take the 24. Okay. So 24. How many silver pieces? 21 silver and 3 gold. Okay. I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and trust his math on that because he's very good there's at it. There's a there's something slightly odd with that gold piece math. <laughs> yeah, there's like one gold piece missing. Hmm. Yeah. No, that's cuz he broke it into silvers. I broke it into silver. Oh, okay. No. okay, okay. Anyone okay. Silver? Comes out to eighty. That twenty-one each comes out to eighty-four silver. So if you take that one odd gold piece and make it silver, that makes that right, over eighty-four yep. silver. Divide eighty-four by four, and you get twenty-one. Yep. Okay. All right cool, then. Cool. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. That's, yeah that's, all right. Yep. That's yep. good. And like I said, once you get back to town, there's about a hundred gold worth of supplies that you can all right. try to sell. Is the okay, how much? A hundred gold's worth of supplies. In a cart, I imagine, right? Uh, I yes, mean, the, the, there the only car there's a cart, but you it's currently got a bear in it. <laughs> you said oh, there was a wagon with stuff in it. Yeah, there's a wagon. Uh, it's got a bear there in any it. Horses in it? Uh, no, you don't see any horses around. Well, well, how the hell did they move the wagon around? Well, with their hands. Probably got rid of the horses, either sold them off or ate them. These are the worst well, bandits ever. <laughs> well, we can we can travel with the uh, with the cart and, and by uh, rolling it ourselves, but I'm not bringing a bear with us. <laughs> uh, 
Come on. But Chonk. Oh. <laughs> but Chonk Jr. Chonk Jr. Yeah, it's only a brown bear. It's not a black. Or it's, it's only a black bear, not a brown bear. It's Chonk Jr. So I guess Barjok will turn back to the others and say, I can't be the only one who thinks this is unreasonable. <laughs> eh. Let's almost see if we can tame the wild beast. I well, will. We... I will say the bear is fed, so you know it's not gonna. We're, we're not gonna let him in the cage, are we? Are we gonna at least let him out? Yeah, we have to let him out. I I will say he is not a tamed black bear. This is a wild black bear that they captured. Personally, I would say well, let the beast go free. So like, but this, yeah. is, this is my opinion. I I will, I will tell you if you are determined to do this, it will take time and effort on your part. <laughs> Oh, um... It might be easier just to wait until you get the right spells. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm just gonna start playing a different tune to make it, like, kind of like a lullaby to make the bear fall asleep first. Okay, I'll say with your crit before you can do that. It, it seems pretty content now that it's eaten those assholes. <laughs> yeah, after that, I'm gonna, like, um, like, I'm gonna try to, like, make it so that the doors open while it's asleep. Okay. quietly and then it can go free whenever all right cool and we freaking carry him in the cart <laughs> he'll leave <laughs> I'll, I'll you know i'll i mean mm. i don't how need much, the cart I, I don't how much stuff can we carry without the cart? <laughs> almost doesn't carry extra shit by the way <laughs> okay i'll i'll say the i'll you know here i'll say the uh Sure, they have a smaller cart you can load some of the stuff into. All right. <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah. So yeah. do we want to uh, haul all of this stuff back now or take it to, to uh, Lance Rock with us and then back to Red Larch? I mean, I don't care about carrying extra things. It's not really what I do. But if you guys want to carry it with you guys everywhere, at least you guys know you have it. I don't. We could hide it somewhere nearby it's and then come back for it later. This area is full of bandits. What do you think will happen if we just leave it there? We killed the bandits. This is all there is? I don't know. Well, that's I ultimately disappointing. Let's, let's take it back now and get the money and would be good to go. All right, good idea. Sure, why not? All right, let's go back to Red Large. Get over the there, got kicked out of his house. No money, nothing. He needs, uh, he needs funds. You know, and right, yeah. not like his. It's not like uh, people are going to be throwing money. <laughs> All right, so are we talking about me right now? Of course not. <laughs> talking about the other ugly person, <laughs> the one, the one behind you. Hey, hey, there is that is no way to talk about Tedmund. <laughs> hey. Tedmund's not behind you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you, you'll manage to load up the car and um, uh, take it back to Red Larch and. Some of the stuff goes to um, goes to the odds and ends shop. The weapons, the uh, the weapon dealer in town, he'll gladly take some of that off your hands. And so twenty gold, twenty five gold pieces each. Yep, and you managed to collect twenty five gold pieces for each of you. Hey, and rich are not broke, and that's awesome. All right. All right. So now it's now. now I believe the next location was Lance Rock. Yep. Yep, Stone Speaker. Yep. All right. Before we head out, is there a place where I can buy like potions of healing? Hmm. No, we don't have enough money for that. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Are you saying you have fifty gold pieces? Oh, is it fifty for regular? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Ah, mm. oh, just wait. 
Mm, I'm falling slightly short. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're yep. all fine. It's gonna be fine. Basic healing potions, 50 gold. Sorry. No, it's fine. I just needed probably, like, two or three more gold pieces. Whatever we find, I oh, could lend you is gonna be in uh, a couple. I don't mind. If you need only a few, I can loan you some. No, it's fine. I'm good. Okay. It was just for the you, the few that need to go up close with whatever we face. I personally don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we set up camp on on our way there, or uh, I mean, probably the? Because I mean, it's like. Eight miles to get there, and then eight miles back. Yeah, because it, it was eight miles to and eight miles. Well, no, we can get back by the end of the day. Because that yeah, fight we only have took to... us, that fight only yeah. took us like that fight really only took like thirty seconds. Of... Yeah, I know, but the the time we we you know, by the time we get there, we'll have to set up camp like somewhere around here. Or we can all, or we just spend another night in Red Large and then. Head out to Lance Rock the next day. Yeah, sounds fine. Sure. Okay. Pretty sure. I mean, you're rich now, man. You can afford five silver for an in stay. Yeah, that's true. Now I go take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is. It is very luxurious and smells very nice. Uh, mm, lavender and lilac. Yeah. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see here. So is there anything else you guys want to do in town while you're there? Um. I don't think I need anything yet. Okay. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I don't think I need anything yet. Yeah, I mean, I go clean up as well. Of course. So go that to the would, bathhouse. So for like for food and uh, for uh, for stuff like that, how much would that cost us? Uh. Well, say, the the in stay, which I believe includes meals, is five silver. Yeah, yeah, five silver. The bath, I don't know how much that costs you. Uh, five silver. What what did it, what was that? One silver. One so did I say one silver before? All right, yeah. I yeah. was gonna say like one or two silver, something like that. So yeah, one silver. All right. Yep. All right. Yep. That's all I want to do for tonight. All right. In that case, you all get rested up. Uh, you get your long rest, and in the morning, head right back. Get your breakfast. And then head off to Lance Rock. Uh, so you're only you're only like a short ways out of town uh, before you're already seeing it in the distance. Um, uh, like you're you're still a couple miles out, and you can already see it. It is a narrow twenty five foot mahir men men here of gray Many. of bare gray rock that juts eastward at a 60 degree angle uh basically it's just like almost like an obelisk of stone just standing off does anyone distance. know uh asterix and obelix the no. asterix and obelix no oh, i've heard of it all right it's a it's a well it's a it's a belgium uh well cartoon not cartoon but a uh comic it's pretty funny okay um yeah i've heard of it but i don't speak french so well yeah yeah it's fine it's in all, pretty much like all the languages but whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's originally french yeah in french um yeah they're supposed to be like gauls or something like that yep yeah anyways on to lance rock on to lance rock 
Um, let's see here. So you event you eventually, after a while of marching through the countryside, manage to reach it, and it is very tall and very imposing look looking. Uh, does someone want to give me a pers an investigation check to see what's going on around here? Sure. Investigation? Yeah, we'll go with investigation. All right, let me check. Hold on, I got. I might have a thing. Do you have uh, a thing? Da, 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 da. For tracking? Nope. Yeah, for doing it's for tracking, but it's not for. Nope. Never mind. Just going to roll a straight investigation check. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Is it too late to use that bardic inspiration? Yeah, I mean, I could oh, give it's, you it's one. Been, but... It's been well over ten minutes. Uh, I was uh... about to say, does anyone want to help, help him out? But uh, it looks like Velik is also looking around. Uh, well, Velik, you notice two things. Uh, one, uh, the the rock is kind of weird. Uh, it's a large gray stone not does not match the uh the mountains around you um but you also notice more importantly a few a few hundred feet south of the stone is a small ravine is a ravine choked with brush uh, and a trail at the uh leading into it has a uh, neatly painted sign that reads in common come no closer Lest you catch the disfiguring plague that affects me. Signed, the Lord of Lance Rock. I point this out to the others. Disfiguring no plague. Would I know anything like that? Do I have I heard anything? Give me a about a Lord of Lance Rock or whatever. Uh, if you want to give me, like, a history check or something? Sure. Um... Uh, yeah, you have... Not no... great. You have no idea who he's talking about, who, what the sign is talking about. Uh, in fact, you're not even sure anyone really lives out here so you don't know why they would need a lord perhaps a hmm. person that's hallucinating <laughs> things perhaps it is could a I person <laughs> or perhaps it was could a bear that carved this sign <laughs> could i look around are there any tracks any tracks um no you don't see any tracks but you do see a trail behind the sign leading off into the uh um, it, leading into the brush. It doesn't seem to be a well-used path, but it is, you know, beaten down a little bit. Would you say it is the path less traveled? Hmm, I might. <laughs> well, was that? that was Robert Frost, right? I think so. That sounds familiar. Yeah. I don't know. All right, I, don't, well... I don't know either. <laughs> I guess should we go should we go down that path? Why are we here anyway? Uh because someone the innkeeper said that there was like fell magic happening in this area. Fell magic and disfiguring plague could be related. Could be. All right. Who wants to go first? Um Real quickly, I'm gonna use ritual casting to do detect magic. Ooh. So it'll take me ten minutes. Okay. To do this, but I'm gonna try this out anyway. Um, do I sense anything? Hmm. Uh. No, you don't. You don't seem to see anything around you. Um, okay, I'll keep it up for for the ten, 10 minute minutes until in. something happens. Yeah, as we okay. go in. 
All right, so you've got your, uh, <laughs> all I can ever think of with Detect Magic is, you know, like some of those video games, like Assassin's Creed, or I think has it, where, like, you, you hit a button and everything, like, like important eagle things vision. glow orange around you. Yeah, the eagle yeah. vision. Yeah, like the eagle, eagle vision. Eagle vision is from Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is the first game to have ever done it. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the, like the eagle vision or, um... Or the uh, the the loot spotting from uh, Dishonored stuff like that. Uh, that's just what I think of whenever just everything goes dark and just start seeing like things light up. But no, you don't see anything light up around you. Uh, but all right, so you're gonna continue on. All right, we get to go to the new map. All right, let me get some tokens out for you guys. Oh, is it actually a dungeon this time? Yeah, no, we got a proper dungeon map and everything. Oh, shit, maybe oh. we should have leveled up before going here. <laughs> All right. No, no, I don't think the DM would have told us about it. Yeah, yeah no, don't worry. I'm not going to... At least for these early levels, I wouldn't do that to you. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Goes to level twenty dungeon. Layer of an ancient red dragon. No, it's a, no, it's a green dragon, and she's somewhere else right now. <laughs> <laughs> she. Sorry, taking any of the loot. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, so just just to double check, most of you have dark vision. Can you see right now? I can see. Hold on. I, uh, for Velik, some reason, I you... exited. I see my token. Uh, I'm going to set the whole place on fire. <laughs> 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 or on, maybe if a that seems a little excessive, I will just cast light. Give me okay. a moment. I'm coming back on roll 20. Where are we right now? Uh, At the bottom left-hand corner. Bottom left -hand I see corner. us. Uh... I see. Okay, Velik. So, yeah, I was about to say, what's the dimensions for light? My God, we're 20, 20. 10 feet in any dimension. Okay. Uh, so... I'll, I'll cast it on the end of my staff, and it'll appear as, like, a, you know, bright flame. Now that should provide um, 10 men with light for that moment, but... Okay. Um, I'll keep out of the... of his light, if... I guess, uh, or maybe not. That's I think you should be able to see. Is a thing. If you're not able to see right now, you should be able to see with the can trip. Yeah. So all of you except Velik should have dark vision, so you should be able to see around you. And Velik, oh. you should now be able Wait to see. Wait a minute! Yeah. Is it Tedman a human too? <gasps> a ah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's a half elf. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot too. You no, know, share that information that he's a half. No, no, no. He specifically said when he introduced his character that he hides his ears behind his hair. Well, oh, yeah. Right, yeah. And his ears aren't that pointy. Uh, they're more human like than elf like. And then there's me and that? Barjok. Well, There's no that, way to hide it. There are exactly two humans in this uh, in this group, after all. <laughs> he's, he's just a fan. You just see Tedman marching forward with no light source. Okay, well, to, <laughs> to be fair, you don't actually... This, this light is just because it's... Currently, you're still outside the cave. You haven't gone in yet. But I didn't... I don't know how to... It's fine. Like just this area. Before. But the it's fine. It's the fine. The to the cave is over here. All right. So I imagine okay. that Tedman and I lead the way then. I would like to be in the middle. All right. Where's the entrance to the cave? I think it's to um, the right. That way. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Have... Are we stealthing? <laughs> that might not be a bad idea. We we should stealth, guys. All right. Okay. Be a little sneaky. Does he? Sure. Hit. We'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Ah. Not twenties. 
But I've got a 13. Got disadvantage. No! <laughs> oh, right, I forgot I too have disadvantage. Well. Hey, I got a What? Chance. Okay, so that's like a 10, 13, 10, and the, and the 24. <laughs> 10, 10, 13, 10. I oh, know, 10, 13, 24, 10. That comes out to an average of 14 and a quarter. All right, cool. <laughs> and, oh, is he under named NPCs? He might be under named NPCs. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking for a character sheet, and it's... Ah, yep, there it is. Can we just, like, wander around for a little bit until we find the entrance? Yeah, uh... It, it's, Because uh, I can't see it yet. Here, I'll just move. There you go. It's right here. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, okay, I see it now. Yep. Alright. Uh, so as you approach a cave mouth... A cave mouth opens into the darkness from which a breeze blows, carrying the faint odor of death. Inside is All a right, natural... before we go any further, mm -hmm. I would like to make a survival check to see if I see any tracks. And particularly, I would like to see if there are any undead inside of there. So I sense no magic yet while he makes that check, right? No necromancy, no whatever? Uh, within 30 feet of you? Nope. Okay. So can I make some kind of check? Uh yeah, give me like a um uh you said it a second ago and suddenly I'm blanking on it. Nathan, survival. Oh, survival. Yeah, survival check. Come on, dude. I'll help. So um, I could help too. Yeah, I rolled. T I rolled two more times. Twelve. Ah, uh, I thought. Uh, oops. Do I see anything with a twelve? Uh, with a twelve? Uh. Or freaking ten minutes. It, with seem, with it a seems. It seems like. Uh, there's a. Weirdly enough, like a lack of tracks. Like you. Uh, with a twelve. You notice the animals seem to be avoiding this place. Fair enough. Let's go a little deeper. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, to about here. Uh, inside is a natural cave. Its floor is, and ceiling are uneven. The passage leads to the west, narrowing as it proceeds. Uh, there's nothing here. No, nothing. Because nothing yet. Uh, so let's nothing. Oops. Here. Oh, nothing magical yet. Uh, yeah, you do see a body up ahead. It seems to be that thing right there. Huh. Uh, that is. The corpse of a human male sprawled on its back. It is only wearing leather breeches. Uh, Amos. All right. I yeah. don't see anything. <laughs> There's a body up north. Uh, Velik, or whatever way. Uh, Velik, do you not? Is your no, lighting I not working? No, I said that, you know, I have such a narrow... Like, my, my He's just making a joke. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you see that corpse up ahead, and Amos, you stop, stop in your tracks. Uh, you can practically see the uh, the uh, aura of necromancy hanging over this body. Yeah. Before the other three decide to march in front of me, <laughs> I tell them about this necromancy business. All right. Cool. You want? I should. Light it on fire. Uh, I mean, I mean, Barjok will turn back to Tedman and he'll say, he'll just like take out his battle axe and say, "Shall we? Shall we? Sure, yeah, you know, kill it and kill him while he's down." I mean, he's not moving. I mean, sure. 
Kill him you while can't take that dead. chance. <laughs> Kill him while he's dead yet. <laughs> You're just gonna let's see you guys walk over to him. It's still not doing anything. Alright, I'm just going to hit him a few Wait, 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 before you guys hit it. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna just like keep a I'm just gonna like go up to it and then just kind of try to see if I recognize anything or if anything seems familiar to me. Mm. It has to do with my backstory if you're wondering yeah, what no, I'm that, really that's asking. I'm trying to think. Uh, trying to think like what kinds of familiar things you could be looking for. Um, I mean, it looks like a corpse. Uh, so nothing that might give me hints. Nope. Nope, it's just a human dude wearing okay. pants, and he's It's dead. a long campaign. It could be a while before we find him. And I, I, I let them do their thing. All right, hit him a few, okay. thing, a few times with my uh, war, uh, war axe. Okay, take a swing. Yeah, hold on. Advantage. It's prone. Yeah, so you do have advantage. Oh, yeah. God... Oof. Damn. <laughs> he misses. The no, that court. hits. <laughs> oh, it hits. A nine hits, yeah. He said it was just wearing trousers. He's got no armor on and he's dead. Right. Yeah. Five points of slashing damage. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and. GM layer. Move that to the front. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Well, oh, great. I'm way too close for this. All right. So that's your hit? Yep. It's my turn. Tedmund, I assume you're going to take a swing? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That um, hits. Okay. That's nine damage. All right. Uh, yeah. Um. As you strike into it, suddenly it snaps like it just wakes up. And let's roll some initiative. Cool. Yeah. Uh, again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we got to level up somehow. <laughs> yeah, oh, the man. grind. Slightly the grind. better. Only slightly better. <laughs> I go again. Yep, uh, Barjok, it's your turn. Is it still prone? Uh, yeah, it's still on the ground. Hoya! Another time with my uh, battle axe. Once more All into right, the corpse. 13. Yeah, that hits. Eight points of damage. All right. Uh, hold on. What was it again? Five plus the damage taken, so eight. 13. And he goes down. He, hey, he so stops good. moving I'm again. so good. Good work, Barjak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm assuming my detect magic is still up, or is it gone? Uh... I'll say it can... That's 10 minutes past? No, 10 minutes has not passed. I'd say okay. it's maybe been like 5 at most. Cool, cool. Well, so I guess it's we now confirmed. Head we on. Undead here. Let's see. What were the rules about detect magic? Oh, uh, penetrate, penetrate most barriers, it's... but is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, or a sheet of lead. Yeah, so basically, I have to be able to know it's there. <laughs> so unless someone's wearing tinfoil. Yep. All right. Can detect magic on them. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, stop for a second. Okay. Uh, Amos, you're not... Well... Uh, DM, yeah. why do I only have 20 feet total and not 40 feet? That's a good... 20 point. feet of bright and then 20 feet of dim. That's a good question because I definitely set it to 20 feet of bright and 20 feet of dim. You gotta set it to 40 feet total and then the dim starts at 20. Oh, okay. Dim starts at 20. That's really wow. dumb. Oh my goodness! 
I can actually see. My apologies. It's amazing. I can see, said the blind. Uh, <laughs> Amos, uh, you feel some more necromancy around you. You're not entirely sure where, though. I don't know where. Okay. Uh, it's definitely. Do I know what side of me, at least? Or is uh, it just... Coming from the chamber ahead of you. Speaking of the chamber ahead of you... Roll for initiative. <laughs> uh, you see a round, high-ceiling cave. Uh, and that large boulder in the middle there. Mm -hmm. uh, in the center of the cave, it has dark stains over the top of it. Uh, looks like sacrificial boulder. stuff, maybe. I'm gonna <laughs> inch up a, a little bit. I'm gonna oh, approach a little be sure bit closer. Not to cross, be sure not to cross this dotted line right here. <laughs> <laughs> Do I sense anything stronger? Uh, not... Mm, no, I won't say it's stronger. Okay. Bar Jock will cross the dotted line. Uh, you you hear, uh, you hear a, and then you hear a clattering noise. Uh, I'm gonna need Bar Jock and Tedman to make me some deck saves. All right, guys, tripped over the trip wire. Uh, I don't know why I had advantage thirteen. Okay, so a 13 from Barjok and a 9 from Tedmund. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, does it? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, so Barjok, you made it. Tedmund, unfortunately, you didn't uh, notice in time as a pile of rocks come dumping on down from above. So... Uh, Tedman, you take seven. Barjak, you take half. Oof. Oof. Damn it! Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then a uh, a oop, that's almost my bad. Oh, damn it! Uh, having to swap between the different layers. Two zombies above you that Please. just dumped those rocks on you jump down. Oh joy! Um, and uh, the problem is they are up quite high, so they do take five <laughs> points of damage as you hear their legs kind of crack a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and roll me initiative some initiative. Again? Honestly, just roll me some initiative, and I think we'll just hold on to this for now. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! We definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's not hold on to these ones. <laughs> wow! Oh, and they wow. still rolled worse. Uh, <laughs> oh, manageable. All right, Amos, you're up. Um, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tedman, how are you doing right now? I can't I'm see old. Tedman, can I? No, you can. He's just there in front of you. Mm, okay. Not um, looking too hot, Tedman. No, I'm below half help. <laughs> he definitely had some rocks at him on the head. Ow. Not, not looking too good, Teddy. You, you, uh, see, you see the zombies are like holding boxes that those rocks <laughs> used to be in. <laughs> like, I would heal you, but... Also, that's a whole spell slot, and they only have two. I'll be fine. Um. Fine. He's a fighter. It's like I know something bigger has to be coming up. And I'm fine. I'm half orc. Uh. This is when. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna do. Vicious Mockery on the one right by Tedmund. Now, if I'm not mistaken, zombies should not have a good wisdom. Uh, no, probably not. 
Oh yeah, no, their wisdom is good. Oh, it's not ah. that much great damage. Unfortunately, oh, it makes the save. What? That's fine, that's fine. Um, Tedmund, I am gonna give you a bardic inspiration. Welcome to right. level, level one, everybody. <laughs> yep. I have more bardic inspiration than spell slots. It's great. I think we level up at 450 ex points, experience points, right? Uh, 300. 300. 300? Yes. Oh, man, I hope we got enough today. <laughs> don't don't, don't worry. It, even if you had skipped the bandits and just gone to this dungeon, this dungeon will literally put you at 300. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, Tedman, you get this a D6. This entire dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... I don't think we're going to finish this dungeon tonight, guys. No, definitely not. No, I don't not. think so. Definitely not, because we only got, like, 20 minutes left. Yeah, but, you... Tedman, you could use the inspiration for an attack roll or a saving throw. Okay. Do you um, also yeah. multiply with the uh, number of uh, bandits there are? What are you talking about? Experience points? Oh, the yeah, SP. The I haven't points. added the. I haven't a added the bandit experience. Oh, but I mean, in the P PHB, yeah, one monster costs the the same amount of XP. But when there's multiple monsters, you have to actually multiply the amount of uh, XP there are by a certain modifier. Oh shit! Really? I've just been. I'll going... find the page. I I'll look that up later. I've just been going off there, like you know. Let, no, let, let, let Vince can look it up while he waits, you know, between his turns. Yeah, I've 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 just been going off how much they were worth directly, but okay. Anyway, that's my turn. All right, that's your turn. Uh, that means Tedmund, you're up. Okay, so I'll um, I mean I'll attack the zombie right there twice. And, um... Nine hits, I think. Uh, nine on a zombie? Yeah, nine hits. Oh, alright. Ooh, 17. Okay. So seven. And he fails his constitution save. He's down. Oh. And um, I haven't dual wielded for a while, so that's just the, the action, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's your attack well, action. Well, it should be your bonus action, too, because you don't have extra Yeah, attack. I think it's oh, when right. you're dual wiel wielding, your bonus action attack gets the extra, like, proficiency bonus or something like that. Yeah, he's got the, he's got uh, that, uh, I think he's got the fighting style that lets him add his, uh... Yeah, yeah, I get the modifier. Okay. So, yeah, you get the modifier, but that was your bonus action to swing with your other weapon. Okay. Which is pretty badass for a level one character to have two attacks in a turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. no, definitely. All right. So that's your sure turn, Barjok. I didn't find it yet. I'm going to find it by the end of the of today's session. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I am going to attack the zombie. The zombie. The zombie. Eleven. That barely hits, I think. Uh, no, no, it very hits. Well, I mean, freaking yeah, it's still not that high. It's anyway. a zombie. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, four <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> Minimum damage. Woo! And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to step right here to All right. leave some space for everyone else to uh, come through. All right. In that case, Velik, your turn. So they have. Like shit dexterity, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Zombies are, have pretty much shit Sorry. everything except strength and constitution. So. Beep. <laughs> Create bonfire. Dex save. He fails. Takes three points of damage. His feats are toasty. <laughs> now it's the zombies' yeah. turn. Uh, this one's currently after Barjok, so he's going to try and slam you. Eight. I assume eight misses. <laughs> we lost him. Uh-oh. Is Barjok dead? You can look at his ace. I mean, no, I'm still alive. Uh, I'm going to assume an eight misses, so. <laughs> an eight does miss. All right. In that case, Amos, your turn. Uh um... And... 
five more fire damage for the zombie. Oh yeah, <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. It's continuous. And I, I mean, to to be fair, yeah. it's a stupid zombie, so like it makes sense. <laughs> uh, let's see, Dex save. He makes it. What the fuck? He <laughs> he's got fancy feats and rolled a nineteen. Good lord. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just gonna do vicious mockery again. <laughs> Fair enough. Makes a wisdom save. Wow. I am oh. I'm on fire with my Zombies dice rolls. Zombies are so much tonight. better than the bandits. <laughs> I am on fire with these dice rolls. I don't know why. It, it makes sense. Well, to they be don't get taunted easily. To be fair, They're though. They're dead. To be fair, though, you got the drop on the bandits. These guys got the drop on you. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Um... In that case, Tedmund. Okay. Do you want um, to do your Tedmund thing? I'll, I'll go around, um, and um, I guess I'll attack once, and then I'll use uh, Second Wind. All right. And nineteen. That's a uh, ten damage. And then Second Wind. Uh, let's see if they... that's. See if it can make its con save. No, it can't. How are you doing exactly enough damage to kill them every single time? <laughs> <laughs> Both these uh, zombies. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, he goes down. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been my uh, job in my past life. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go up to Tedman. I'm gonna put my my hand on his shoulder and be like, "I now declare you Tedman, Bane of the Undead." <laughs> uh, it's a good name. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I appreciate you it. Name yourself is is Tedman, Bane of the Undead, from now on. <laughs> Do I still sense anything? Uh, I mean, you sense a faint residue from those two zombies. But no, th those were probably what you were sensing beforehand. Okay, I'm gonna cross cross the threshold as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and you've got two entrances, one to your left and one to your right. Uh huh. Hmm. Edmund, how do you get your hit points back? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just this uh, ability I've learned uh, over the years. I just, uh, his superior get better. breathing technique. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm just we... tough. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, um... So where do we go now? That's a good question. Do I sense anything from here? Like a direction? Nope. Not not with not with your magic sense, you're not sensing anything yet. I suggest we go I want to sniff the air. Alright, make me a perception check. Well, never mind. <laughs> it's stanky in here. It smells like corpses and death, and it is awful. I mean you still have that inspiration if you want to use it for ability checks as well i don't have any inspiration uh, no that that was uh that was you gave that to tedmund. Yeah. yeah i said tedmund uh, or jock will flip a coin <laughs> all right what? let's go left cool all right my favorite should go right <laughs> velik just wants to go his own direction <laughs> nope Everyone wants to go left, I'll go left. Fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. We I'm... head down the oh, left corridor. Left. All right. Uh, Tedman, how are you looking? Fine. Tedman's looking All great, right. actually. After you. <laughs> okay. I'll keep uh, whispering to myself, Bane of the Undead. Bane <laughs> of the Undead. Such a fucking badass. 
All right, go ahead and stop for a second so I can just go ahead and move some guys onto the proper layer. Oh, good. Bad guys ahead. Do I sense anything? Uh, not yet. Okay. There we go. Okay, you can keep moving now. Hmm. I mean, I think oh, I see some zombies. zombies. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see a zombie, all right, but... um. It's kind of weird. So um, the na this narrow passage is about 10 feet high in most places with rough, irregular walls. Protruding spurs on the walls are coated in dried blood. Eventually, this natural passage widens out. The star-shaped cavern ahead has many clefts in its walls. Uh, only two across the cavern seem large enough to traverse. Three zombies lurch about this area. One, all, all of them are in costumes. One looks like a bear, another looks like a, is dressed as a lady in a frilly dress and thick makeup, and the last is a jester with jingling bells on its collars and sleeves. What in the world? Uh, is the undead circus? I hate circuses. <laughs> um, Clown, uh, creep me out. Uh, they, they seem like they're, um, I mean, like, almost, you've been to plays before, they almost seem like they're acting something out uh like gesturing around they seem to be um i don't see. preparing for a performance do they actively look like they're performing or they're preparing for a performance or is it like blind zombie movement like uh, they, they, they seem they're like they're like they're preparing for a performance. like they're actually preparing for a performance yeah that's creepy uh-huh <laughs> that's hella creepy Wait, 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 have we suddenly somehow veered off into one of your homebrew? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is in the book. I was just disturbed. <laughs> do I do I know what kind of act would require such a thing? Like such costumes? Uh like like what are you talking about? Like what kind of play they're like performing? The, recognize the play yeah. they're preparing for? Uh, you're not entirely sure. It seems to be some kind of weird comedy, um, but th they're not very good. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, you'd think zombies, great actors, right? No. <laughs> uh, I think we should just get this done and over with. Okay. I was, is bored. So yeah, they, they, they continue shuffling around. Um... Should we interrupt? Yeah, let's I go would, for it. I wouldn't want to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not the time to respect them out of the blue. I mean, there's three of them. Do we want to take them all of them at once? All right, I guess we're going in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Amos was bored. Are we doing initiative then? I guess so. Uh, yeah, this one lunges at Tedman to roll initiative. <laughs> uh Ha -ha! Decent initiative this time. <laughs> Not for the hey, zombies though. Okay. Holy shit! Zombie. All right, almost. You're up. Uh yeah. Uh well, I'm just gonna keep spamming vicious mockery because. <laughs> I know something's coming. As the bard is wont to do. I literally don't have any other spells. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go for the one that's lunging at Tedmund. All right, this one here. Okay. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, I got it. I got the page. All right, it's fine. All right. Uh, Wisdom. Saving throw, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. You call Two. his. You, you look at this jester and you say, "Fool, your costume is terrible." And he jingles sadly. <laughs> as he takes two damage. No, I just play a piercing sound on my. Oh flute. right, right, right. I forgot you. You don't mock. You've got a psychic flute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come hither, fool. The, the fool jingles sadly. Eighty-two. Oh, that's that's not for awarding experience. That's for setting up encounters. While well, encounter modifier, number of monsters, if there are between three and six monsters, then the experience points received are multiplied by two. 
read, read, you got to read the rest of it. I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's for that's, that's awarding for experience. Awarding. That's, for, okay, that's like, for difficulty. Yeah, that's for that's difficulty for modifier. Difficulty of an encounter. That that's why that's that's for like calculating yeah, difficulty reading. via I'll CR. Keep and, freaking, shut up, I'll and, keep and it's and it's why CR is bullshit because it's like you, it's if fine, you get I'll keep reading, I'll keep if reading. you get enough rats technically by CR they could beat Tiamat but like not actually. <laughs> Anyways, it's just a tool for gauging. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Velik, you're up. It's pretty. It's not foolproof. Oh wait, I wanna I wanna oh. move up a little forward so that it gives. Space for people okay. to come up. Yeah, I'll put myself with line of fire. All right, Velik, your turn. All right, hold on. I have to look at something really quick here. All right, we're gonna call this the last encounter for tonight because it's almost ten o'clock. Yeah. If the encounter includes more than one monster, apply a multiplier to the monster's total XP. The more monsters there are, the more attack rolls you're making against the characters given in a round. And the more dangerous the encounter becomes. Yeah, that's that's for right. calculating difficulty. No because, modify because for you're, multiple monsters. Yeah, because you're modifying the um Yeah, it's for calculating the CR of the overall encounter. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's for because the modifier the multiplication modifier is for um their damage or their their Basically, like it's increasing their overall effectiveness because they're taking up more of the action economy. This adjusted value is not what the monsters are. All right. Of XP. There you the go. Adjusted value yeah. only purpose is to help you accurately. Well, freaking, I guess I did my <laughs> awarded XP wrong all these years. It was a good attempt, Barjak. It was a good attempt. <laughs> We're gonna do a little. Uh, I award XP. Oh hell yes. So I'm going to run forward and then I'm going to, you know, put my hands out in front of me and then fire is just going to erupt. Cool. A big gout gout don't of you, Fuck yeah. Don't you know what the gesture for flaming hands is? It's this. It's, it's this. this. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, oh, it's this? <laughs> yeah. Eh. <laughs> That's dumb. On, that's cool. <laughs> flaming hands. All right. Uh, let's see. They make deck saves, huh? Yes, they do. All right, for the close one, and for the back one, <laughs> that's more like it. Uh, fourteen damage. Uh, they're still standing, but they're not looking good. I mean, no, they weren't looking. Not. I mean, they weren't looking great to begin with. The uh, the jester in front of you, you've you've burned most of his costume off at this point. The the, be the bells clonk to the floor. Tedmund, Slayer of Undead, do your mm -hmm. thing. Oh, oh. Hmm? or zombie Slayer. Bane, sorry, Bane it's of the Undead. Bad. My bad. Bane. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, it's not my turn yet. No, it's yeah, not. no, it's not your next. Turn. I got one. I want one. Chucky Shaw. Relax. <laughs> so um. I was wrong. Can I uh, shuffle around to give space for uh, Barjok? Um, like just remaining in. Um... Uh, sure. Yeah, it'll be difficult terrain, but yeah, I'll say you can do that. Yeah. You're just gonna you know, scoot... trying to go all that far. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, just no, trying to I... scoot past the zombie. Oh, uh, there. Yeah, yeah. And then, do do do. I'll uh, start poking him. Pokey poke. Yep, that hits. It's five damage. I'll poke him again. Ooh, minimum damage. Uh, eleven hits. Yep. And another seven. All right. Oh, unfortunately, uh, he makes his con save and is still standing. You chop off his leg, but he's still. Fortitude. Yeah. Uh, you chop off his leg, but he kind of turns around at you and looks very annoyed. My apologies, Danik. I probably should not have bestowed that nickname upon you. <laughs> uh, All right. Barjak, your turn. Get the one in front of me. Can I you am reach going the one in front to... of me? Uh, you'll take an act like... attack of opportunity from this one. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do it. 
All right. Just because I'm a team player. He takes it's a swing. It's a disadvantage. But, oh, right. This one has a yeah. disadvantage. Uh, 14? Oh, well, yeah. 14 misses. All right. <laughs> so you're fine. All right. I'm going to rush to that guy, and I'm going to axe him with my uh, and with my uh, battle axe. And ask him a question? That hits. All right. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're... Ouch. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. <clears throat> oh no, they're all still standing. We are so scared. All right. Uh, well, this one's gonna shuffle over to Tedmond. Uh, let's see here. So first one for, actually no. Uh, I will say like, actually no. Tedmond attacked this one, but this one's the one set on fire. So they're uh, both set on fire. Right, but Tedmond chopped off the one's leg. So let's go one for Tedmond. 12. Uh, miss. <laughs> One for Valak. 11. Misses. And since you just took a swing at him, let's say one for Barjak. Mm -hmm. What's going to be nat 20? Oh. 17. <laughs> yeah, 17 hits. He uh, punches you for three points of damage. <laughs> All right. It is Not very gross. <laughs> Amos, your turn. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. Ooh, I don't know. Uh... I'll try something I haven't done before. Ooh. I'll take my rapier. I'm just gonna stab him. <laughs> and stab him. <laughs> Heck yeah, that hits. Stab. Six points of piercing damage. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting because I can I cast healing word. That's, I don't think I can. As a bonus action. Healing word. Bonus action. You could. Yeah, it's a bonus but action. I don't need it. I'm you fine. don't need it. Fine. Okay, then that's fine. Cool. He's gonna say that until he's dead. <laughs> oh, like I care. <laughs> All right. In that, in that case, anything else you want to do on your turn? Stubborn. Uh, no, that's it. All right, Velik. All right, uh, we're gonna do uh, create bonfire under that guy. <laughs> All right. Because they're too close for my firebolt. Yep. Yep. Fire, fire, fire. That that just be how it is sometimes. Fire I'm not gonna use a dagger on these guys. <laughs> he fails his deck save. So he can take six fire damage. And then he's stupid and gonna stand there and take six fire damage again later. Yes so. he is. <laughs> Actually yes he is, because he's a dumb zombie. So But the dress go boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that means Barjak is fighting the bear one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, one was dressed mean as a the... jester, that's this one. One was in a dress, oh, okay. which is the one over here. And so that means this one is dressed as a bear. <laughs> uh, well, it's better than the real thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Tedmund, your turn. All right. I'll uh, poke this one again. All right. That hits. Seven damage. All right. Con saving throw. Can he pass another 12? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh. oh, he just made it. Well, I'll, uh, I'll stab him again. again. That hits. Another seven. Another 12. <laughs> and, oh, he fails no. the <laughs> and he goes down. Bane of the undead indeed. <laughs> You, you, you hit him. You know what? You you hew off you, another limb, and he looks at you like tis but a flesh wound, and then you take off his head, and he is no <laughs> more. <laughs> Should I use my blood maledict for this one? No, save it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, the thing is, do I get them back your on a special, special perks on petty zombies? Don't don't do it on zombies, man. Not on zombies. No, it's not worth it. All right, then I won't do Save it. Save it for the necromancer. All right. Save it for the necromancer. All right. So. 
So yeah, I just moved uh, down here, and uh, that's it. All right. Barjak, can you hit for more well, than five? Let, let me think. Hmm. I'm going to try and hit him with my battle axe. <laughs> that hits. Hey! hey. That, well, let's see. So can he make a 16? Yes, he can. He's, He's still standing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh no! Ah, oh, they can't hit, but boy, are they annoying to take down. Speaking of zombie turn, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, one for Tedmund. That's a twenty. Oh, yeah. So three points and one for Barjok. Yeah. Five. <laughs> 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 I'm still, I'm still standing. <laughs> I'm still There's no green left in your bar. Yeah, He's yeah, still standing. I'm uh, still standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh, secretly man. a zombie too. <laughs> Anyways, Amos. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh, do you need healing for your job? I mean, I won't ask for it, but there is there is currently a zombie like chewing on his neck. <laughs> There's um, a lot of blood. <laughs> I mean, I could try to go and kill this thing, but I don't think I can. Well, you know what? Here and then heal Barjok. That's probably the best way. Yeah, you to can go. do both. Yeah, I'm gonna. Try to rapier this thing. All right, that hits. Seven points of piercing. All right, can he make a twelve? He makes a twelve. God, yeah. <laughs> Frick. Okay. Anyway, I heal Barjak for five. That's. Yay. Yeah. It's this like the zombie good. never even Yay. beat him. <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm good. <laughs> Level one, level one. Valak, your turn. <laughs> oh, I only have one spell slot left. Anyway, this guy needs to make a uh, dex saving throw. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> he makes Fucking it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Stab him with your dagger. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... I, it's, eh. I don't know. I'm just going to dismiss. I'm going to, like, well, drop You haven't used your action no, yet. You could disengage if you want. No, I just figured I can just drop... Con what is, it doesn't take an action to drop concentration. No, it doesn't. No, nope, you just Yeah, so do I drop concentration else. on that bonfire and then recast it right under the rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough, because I didn't do that on the zombie's turn, so that would have happened back then. Sure. <laughs> so another dexterity saving throw, please. This, this seems a little broken, but all right. Yeah, he failed that. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. There. Unfortunately, not enough to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> would you believe me if I said he had two hit points? <laughs> <laughs> This is a roll twenties way of, of being like, yeah, that's a little. It's technically it's correct, but it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Don't, one damage. I mean, to be fair though, I'm pretty sure he could have rolled above a six on his con save. So, eh. Right. <laughs> Anyways, Tedmund. All right, I'll uh, stab this guy now. Yep. Um Seven. <laughs> another fucking seven. <laughs> and he makes uh, another twelve. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm noticing uh, a pattern. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is bizarre. Uh, uh, I still have the... Um, Hardic inspiration. inspiration. Right? His yeah. armor class it's is 8, so yeah. yeah. Oh, it hits. Oh, I thought it missed. No, no, no it his hit. armor class is 8. That's literally the minimum. <laughs> oh, good lord. Please nine. roll another 12. Come on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's down. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll uh, go over here and try to help. Speaking of help, Barjak. I've got this one. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Watch Witcher. Miss. I can take him out on my own. 
Oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that hits. Right, so I'm a half orc, so here comes the critical damage. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, and no, no, and he doesn't even roll undo forty ten for this. I think because they it's what it's, uh, it's unless uh, the damage is radiant. radiant or from a critical hit. Yeah, no, he doesn't even oh. get a chance. <laughs> well, I just like rolling twenty six points of damage. Yeah, tw twenty six <laughs> points of damage on a one HP monster. <laughs> a a right. first level. <laughs> Stop it. Character. No, that was very impressive for level one. All right. I think oh, yeah, I'm a half work. this concludes today's yeah, game for think, me. Yeah, we're going to have to yeah. stop for tonight because Amos has oh, to yeah. go and the DM has the DM has a headache and needs to go take some aspirin. <laughs> and like I said, I Ooh. miscalculated XP for as long as I've been playing D&D. &D, yeah. I was I was wondering how we were leveling up so quick. <laughs> In well, well, that's that. Uh, well, that is uh, the milestone. Oh, that is milestone. Yeah, okay. And, and, yeah, I was gonna say he doesn't give us XP for uh, plane raiders. He just says, "Hey, you guys, level up now." Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys finished a tough dungeon. You level up. Well, I have to go. So goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 See you next time. <laughs> But yeah, in a game with with Danik, what I did was it, it was that <laughs> basically I calculated the XP. Basically, every encounter they had, I multiplied by two because of the number of monsters they were in. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that that's our game for tonight. Uh, thank you, Rudolph, for stopping by, and anyone else who was in chat. Uh, and feel free to chat because some of us do look at the chat and mm -hmm. chat back. Uh, mm -hmm. I try to, but I'm kind of busy running the game, so I appreciate you keeping. I do. Yeah, I appreciate you playing the moderator and keeping an eye on the chat. Um. But yeah, thank you everyone who stopped by to watch. Uh, like and, we said, we're uh recording these and uploading them to YouTube, so keep an eye out there for this episode and for announcements for future streams. Uh, next week. On Saturday at 7.30, we are going to be streaming more Plane Raiders, uh, where we play some awful Githyanki who just want to steal your things. I mean, <laughs> awful Githyanki is kind of redundant. Well, but... yes, but still. Um, <laughs> that, that's just kind of what I've been calling it every week. I'm having days. a blast running that campaign, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh... Well, that's next week at 7.30. PM Eastern time on Saturday. Yep, yep. S seven o'clock or seven thirty well, Saturday. What's favor, Rudolph. Uh, yeah. What's up, Rudolph? Type quickly. <laughs> we have a favor to ask of you. Don't just uh. T okay. Mars, so some of my Twitch yeah. friends are running a charity stream for Doctors Without Board. Oh shit. What's Rudolph saying? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow some... some of his Twitch friends are running a charity stream for Doctors Without Borders. Okay. Who are your Twitch friends? Yeah, give us some URLs. We'll try to stop by. Or some usernames. It's on this show is a mimic, if you can just spare a minute to pop up. All right. This show is a mimic. Okay. Let me, let me go ahead and... Uh... All right. I copied that. I'll go ahead and drop that into our uh, Discord group for later. So... 24-hour stream, running all day. I'll be in chat after 2 p.m. EST. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, well keep an eye on, on that and try to stop by. I probably won't be there because I'm going to my – probably going to be at my uncle's helping to slaughter a cow. Sounds fun. Like but I yeah. said, Jake, the redneck of the group. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, de definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll try to stop by, uh, see if I can hang out if for a little I while. If I don't end up doing that, I will stop by. Yes. <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, so, yeah. so ne next week, so this will be in two weeks. Uh, yeah, we'll have them on YouTube, hopefully, fairly quickly. Uh, yes, very good. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna tell your friends to go watch the YouTube, yeah, or, or stop by the stream. Oh, I know you boy. said most of your friends stream at this time, which, yeah, you know, fair enough, but yeah, uh, anyways, so as per usual. Next week, Saturday, 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, the Dice Life, all one word. Yep. Yeah. Um, some Plane Raiders. And then the week after that, Friday, 7 o'clock, 
for some more of this necromancer cave in Princess of the Apocalypse. There's a link again. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, have a great weekend. Bye! Bye. All right. Bye-bye.